Ti duai a spaciam. Ai digiam duai a salvai daf daf. Mas magis guari quattro urbani. Matacar na arsi di ciauda d'ausa. Usa duai a smadi. Ya magis tuarsa tannasha. Taparswa guarba di asta. My goodness gracious welcome Hello. everyone to the first far cry primal community live stream i am your host ari with my co-host matthias hi everyone not kim matthias now <laughs> hi everyone uh, and we are joined with our esteemed creative director jean christophe who i will Hello. then refer to as jc yes <laughs> Hello everyone. it's easier for me and we brought in a pinch hitter Normally, I'm the one who plays the game, but we wanted this to go smoothly, <laughs> and I have a bad habit of ruining everything. So no we brought in one of our dev testers, Julien. Hello, so, Internet. Uh, yeah. Welcome to the Internet, Julien. Yep, all of it. <laughs> Fantastic. So we've got a pretty jam-packed show for you guys today. It's two hours. Uh, we're going to start with jean stuff, but we've got other guests coming in. We've got one of our illustrators slash concept artists, Naomi, and we've got our lead writer, Kevin. So, ton of stuff. We asked you guys to ask questions earlier on social channels. So we grabbed a bunch of those. We're going to be asking them. Obviously, if you have chest, uh, questions in the chat, we'll be able to pull those up. Yep. Um, and we've got giveaways. Yes. The most yes, important thing do. of all, free things. And actually, these giveaways, I'm wearing, wearing one, one right now. It's a, it's a Far Cry Primal hoodie. Um, so it's got little antlers in the front, like this. Um, and yeah, in the back, you've got a little bit of uh, logo. Oh, I don't know if you can see it. Beautiful modeling, Matthias. Yeah, thank you. Thank That's you. lovely. <laughs> so That's right. lovely. So we've got that. That's yeah. from our friends at UB Workshop. <coughs> and we have the Far Cry Primal t-shirts. The contests are going to be open to everyone worldwide. Uh, we're not limiting you. And of course, whatever size you are, we'll send that out. Yes. So those will be coming up later on in the stream. Um, and we're going to be showing you some really cool things that uh, you haven't seen before in yeah, Primal. Absolutely. So our first exclusive content is going to be played by Julien. And Julien, Julien, Julien. <laughs> no pressure. No, no pressure. pressure. <laughs> and uh, yeah, JC, if you want to comment over it, we're just going to have, uh, have some fun. So enjoy, guys. People in the chat are yelling gameplay. That's yes. what we're yeah. doing. In previous uh, demos, uh, we've shown some of the outposts. One of them was uh, Udam, so we have two different tribes in the game world. Uh, the Udam tribe uh, is, uh, is uh, more primitive, they live up in the north, so we've shown this outpost. This time around, we show a different tribe and a different uh, type of architecture and setting. Uh, it's going to be the Izila tribe outpost. Yeah, and just checking if the players can hear us, they should be. So much French and in again, there. And again, correct. We're showing a pre-release beta version, obviously, because the game is not out. So you know, if you see anything weird, that could come from that. But the game is pretty, uh, pretty stable already. Well, here we see the, beautiful. Um, don't jinx it. Absolutely. 
the landscape, the scenery of oh. Oros. So we're more in the uh, um, east, uh, in, this, uh, in this part of the game. There's a lot of different biomes. Uh, previously, we've shown the giant uh, cedar trees. Uh, and what we really wanted to show was uh, recreate uh, a time when nature was really majestic, much bigger than man. So we want mm. the, the nature to feel very big. Yeah. We just saw uh, Julien you know, starting a fire as well. <laughs> really cool, But obviously. Because of the time, uh, <laughs> fire is a very <laughs> important aspect of uh, survival at the time. Yeah. And we just saw the weapon wheel. Uh, I believe he's encountering some enemies. Let's see. Let's see. And he's Mizilla like Mizilla. And Mizilla Patrol. Ooh. Ooh. Nice headshot. Yes, this game, I mean, you guys have seen a bit about Primal, and you know that it takes place in the Stone Age, so we have Stone Age weaponry, but we've got a lot of Stone Age weaponry, and if you check the weapon wheel next to him, he opens it, there's actually a bunch of different things that you can grab. There's not just one bow and arrow, there's a couple different... There's different types of weapons, uh, so you have uh, bows, melee weapons, uh, spears, but you also, for each one, you have little dots, so you can swap them, uh, and so you can swap your arsenal, and they all have different properties, so some bows are better uh, long range, some are more rapid fire, so you, you have uh, a lot of diversity in there. And at the bottom, you have all the throwables, so you, Takar, is able to craft different types of, uh, of tools, bombs, these kind of things. Yeah. Uh, using bees, he's able to, uh, using a bee clusters, he's able to uh, throw them at, the, at his enemies in order to uh, distract them. Yeah, and I see that some users in the chat were asking if this is live or pre-recorded. No, no, it's live footage. So what you're saying... That's why I'm not playing. <laughs> back, in the, back, in, oh. <laughs> back in the far, you were seeing... Uh, so this is night. Night is super dangerous. That's when the Predators comes out. So here Julien is very scared. <laughs> <laughs> so he whips out his, uh, his weapon, sets it on fire. Nice. So all the weapons you have, you can set on fire. You can then use them to uh, ignite the world and also animals. And uh, with the fire, it creates uh, something that scares animals. So you can repel them at night. So it makes your traversal. Uh, and really obviously, fun. you can also set them on fire. Yeah. Which, which I is think is a, a pretty valid tactic. Yeah. And we didn't see it so but just before we fire could see and uh, <laughs> And just before you could see the, the like a village from afar uh, behind you, I think Julien, uh, with like the lake. And, uh, yeah. So Far Cry Primal does go through day-night cycles. Yes. yes. And the, the, what's interesting is the setup for uh, for the location changes. So uh, depending uh, if you go by day or by night, the guards uh, are doing different kind of things. By night they light the fire. They're more around the fire, playing music. So uh, it's a different opportunity. And, and here uh, we're at actually this is a, a quarry. Uh, so the Isila, they're a little bit more advanced. They're already constructing things. They have this megalithic structure all around the world that delimitate their uh, their territory, but they also use it for uh, for rituals. So here is one of the locations where they would uh, start crafting these things. What's interesting for us is to show how the people were living at the time and how the different tribes are also living. Is that cave bear eating someone? <laughs> I think he is. <laughs> oh, what did you just? That doesn't throw? seem like a good plan. So. Part of the arsenal, so we showed the weapon, part of the arsenal of Tarkar as the Beastmaster is also his ability to tame uh, wild animals in the world. So this is something you unlock as you progress in the game. But here, uh, Julien is just taming uh, this bear. It's not a cave bear, it's a small bear. The oh. cave bear is like twice this size. Yeah. You can even so Thank you for nice correcting me. <laughs> yes, it's important for me because I'm all about yes. accuracy, you know. <laughs> pet the bears, pet the bears. And yes. you're riding it now as well. And so, oh, so this is Ooh, a cave whoa, bear. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Fair and enough, that's completely enough. unexpected, right? Fire! <laughs> and actually, you saw the enemies are also using fire uh, against the, the cave bear, so yes. I, but I, it doesn't care, I think. This, Man, I think cave bear does not. Run uh, <laughs> okay. right away! Yeah, yeah, so he's riding his bear. Yes, you can ride your bear. There's a few, uh, a few other animals that you can find. <laughs> <laughs> Bear. Oh, it did you. oh my god, okay. So bears are a little bit less scared by fire. Yeah, as we can see here. <laughs> so yeah, I also think they swim, scared. so when you try to uh, for some of the predators, you can also go in the water in order to escape them, but bears, they swim, so... Okay. <laughs> the chat's asking, where's the Pokeball? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my god, thank good god. job, good job. And so you can actually revive... After setting half the world on fire... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can heal your beast even if it's down, right? Yeah. You just did that. Awesome. All right. Yes, food is used in order to heal yourself, your beast. Mm -hmm. It's part of the uh, economy of the game, so yeah. you need to hunt also to gather food. Yeah. And there was a little bit of a like a timer 
uh, you had like a limited time yes, to... Yes, when uh, your beast is down, you have a limited time in order to uh, revive it. And uh, otherwise, you can actually uh, resurrect it, but you need uh, some specific plants that you find in the world. Okay. Ah, so this is going to be uh, from the yes, the famous version. Beautiful. No, but this is going to be from the menu. Okay. And I think on the mini map we can see you nearing the the outpost that we yes. wanted to show. Have a blade up. Your beast is following you. Still on fire. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So the animals in Beastmaster they kind of react. I mean, you you can control them and kind of give them directions, but they also maintain their regular AI. Yeah, so if something's going to happen. Oh, nice. And you it's just called to another be, beast. Oh. To be systemic, they remain uh, systemic beasts, uh, but you can actually point them towards something. So if it's a, if it's a place, they're going to go there. If it's an enemy, they're going to attack it. I see Julien is going uh, the subtle road. <laughs> <laughs> I like his play style because very he's, quiet, uh, he's yeah. very, uh, very uh, subtle. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> saber tooth, take down! Oh. No, nice. That was just a villager. <laughs> <laughs> oh, was it? It was in my way. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So uh, it's, it's still, uh, we're changing a lot of the aspects of, the, uh, of Far Cry with this game, but uh, we also want it to remain Far Cry, so you will have your, uh, your freedom of approach. Here Julien is going uh, full weapon blazing in, uh, but uh, there, there's going to be uh, a lot of different approaches. You can go in stealth, so you have a lot of different toys that you can use as you uh, assault these places. And of course, oh. when you assault them, the alarms are rung, so the so patrols are going to come, uh, come in. And, uh, so and those are chieftains. Yeah. yeah, the chieftains are tougher and also they are... <laughs> and these are the bee bombs that are actually displayed. Not so tough against bees. Yeah. The clusters. And everything is on fire. This so is beautiful. the chieftains are better at fighting your beasts. So, uh, even if you have a, a set of weapons, there's a vulnerab vulnerabilities also, so you need to manage the different types of units. And he has a kind of uh, area of effect, we see it, like when he hits uh, the ground with his club. Yes. Oh, nice. You so can as you, yeah, as you can tell, every weapon you can light on fire and you can throw every weapon. Which I think is oh, pretty, pretty cool. Really impressive. Damn. Good game, you're killing it. So subtle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so subtle. Uh, so oh, oh you're Now he means business. He's got the double bow. Oh. Double bow. And uh, yeah, fire is an important part. We wanted the world to feel like it was very vulnerable. So <laughs> well, it obviously uh, is. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> this was the, uh, this is a bomb that makes it, enemies yeah. crazy, so they will uh, turn and fight uh, any, any people around them. Uh, this is something we develop uh, later on in the game. Uh, they actually steal from the Udam. Nice shot. I loved that saber tooth out of nowhere. Yep. Saber tooth out of nowhere. Take down. <laughs> And as you can see, like we're showing Julien playing it right now. This is For those who are wondering if it's real live gameplay. Hey, someone in the chat asked if you can ride a bear. That's how we started. Yeah, that's how we started. Riding a bear. And then uh, it was Saber attacked. Saber also and Mammoth. Beautiful. Ooh. Oh. Yeah, these chieftains mean business. Yeah, yeah and now they're fighting oh, each of, other yeah, because he used uh, the, uh, the yeah, poison bomb. Friend. Yeah. So this is another way of creating chaos and just watching <laughs> it burn. Okay, is this your last guy? No, oh there's God. another one. I think there's another one in the back, yeah. Ooh! Those chief thin area of effect uh, fire swings are pretty bad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why won't you die? <laughs> pretty strong opponent. We have a lot of uh, diverse units, uh, oh. ranged, melee, etc. So as you progress also, you will encounter a harder version of them, elite version of them. And, uh, it's uh, uh. when you tag them uh, and you have the icon yeah, over heal. their head, you have the information oh. also about uh, the Good type one. of units. Yeah. And that's... There are two enemies there. Cool. <laughs> Jay, I believe in you. Yeah, you yes, can do it. Can like, do I believe it. that you can... You can massacre on your way. Oh, in the foot. So obviously, kind of the uh, full-on assault is a fun way to go, but you're going to encounter a lot of resistance. Yeah. And the last enemy hit somewhere. Left. Yeah. Maybe they're kind of smartly yeah, hiding. Go. Yeah. You must be hiding in the in the house. Maybe. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Get him, buddy. Get him. And em. nice uh, transition to the um, to the day cycle as well. There you go, hiding in the bush. Yay! Oh, good no. job! <laughs> that's yeah. how you deal with an outpost. That was absolutely <laughs> brutal. Pretty awesome. Good job, Julien. Thanks. Yeah. Really cool. Um, Fantastic.
Obviously. That was his stealth way. <laughs> <laughs> Later on, you do the subtle approach. Yeah. 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 No, that was the, the completely melee action mayhem, as you have seen. Uh, we'll play it in a completely different way in a few more minutes. But now, we, as we said, we asked you for questions. So we take, took the mail all in a um, uh, little, little list, and we're going to ask you, JC, if you have any good answers for us. And, and we're also going to be... Um, okay, that's, that's, that's fine, that's answers. fine. Sorry. <laughs> JC is made of good answers. Yes, it's one is. of his core pillars. <laughs> good answers. Uh, we're also going to take a look in the chat. You guys are way more active than I thought you would be, so the chat is moving very fast. Um, and also, I would like to take this time, if no one minds, to give a shout out to all of my friends that I remember from Far Cry 4, like Jackson to Jermaine, I saw Roy in there, Matt Adams in there. Like, yeah. thanks for joining in, guys. Yeah. Welcome no, to rock. 2016. Welcome to Primal. Happy New Year. <laughs> it's a little different, <laughs> a little different, but uh, it's pretty fun. Yeah. Um, so yeah, let's get to some questions. Okay. So the first one was, uh, plenty of people asked this, uh, will there be any modes of trans transportation other than walking? Because obviously... No, we haven't <laughs> seen any other modes. <laughs> I know, right? So, uh, during the so, so, of course, I mean, the, the game starts... Uh, w what's interesting is uh, recreate the experience of uh, surviving at the Stone Age. At the beginning of the game, uh, you're almost naked, not physically, but you don't have a lot of tools at your disposal. You're in a very dire situation and you have to survive in the savage land of Oros. So it starts by food, you don't have a lot of weapons and it's up to you to actually uh, craft more things. But as you uh, start to progress, uh, learn the beast mastery, uh, conquer the land, you, you have a few uh, options that open to yourself. So there's fast travel, of course, as you will conquer the world, you will have new abilities to travel through the world uh, with this. Uh, you will be able to ride different types of animals as you start to acquire them through the beast mastery. We've seen bear, we've seen a saber tooth tiger, and you will also be able to uh, ride the uh, mammoth. Mm. Uh, and so this will help you traverse the world uh, of Oros as, uh, as you progress. Okay, cool. Oh, uh, Magnificent Mad Potato is really loving your accent. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, sorry. Um, Native uh, English. English. Also, <laughs> shout out to everyone who's giving me love on these shoes. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> Nike Air Max Infrared. I see it. <laughs> Thank you. I wore them so that I would get love. So I'm glad that it worked. Ones. Only for that reason. Yeah, what you, you, you got going on here? Yeah. No. Nothing. Yeah, not that's cool. These dudes, yeah, these dudes from France are wearing these like utilitarian <laughs> brown leather boots. Yeah. The uh, French. Yeah, but it's cold <laughs> outside. Yes, it is. Fine. Fine. <laughs> it's about so survival. It's not like we're inside anyway. <laughs> no, exactly. Um, I'm seeing a couple questions that maybe we can't... I mean, we're not going to deal with yet because we are going to have, again, two other guests who could probably better Talk answer. Bit, yeah, we yeah. had a question about kind of story and no, what's going to happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have Sorry, a no, guests. you're right, you're right, my bad. But we are actually having our lead writer on later, so we'll yep. talk about that. Um, so next question, and again, we see these questions a lot, mm. and I saw them in the chat too, but people are asking, yeah. why aren't there dinosaurs? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> unexpected. Uh, Please put on your scientist hat <laughs> on this one. No, but, uh, it's, uh, it was super exciting when we started to look at uh, what we were wanting to do. And as I said uh, earlier, it's, uh, it's more about uh, going to the origins of humanity, how we uh, lived in a time period when we were uh, at the, not at the top of the food chain and when we, uh, how we had to survive this environment. It's also a very interesting uh, time period because it's the time of the megafauna, so there's a lot of animals that uh, we don't have anymore, but there was no dinosaurs. We oh. chose to not have some. <laughs> Makes sense. I looked it up. But we have a lot of cool animals, actually. A saber tooth tiger, giant mammoth, woolly rhino, uh, the uh, megaloceros. So, My so absolute uh, favorite is the megaloceros. Yes. Yeah. Because it's cool to say. <laughs> okay. Just well, no, like you hear megaloceros so uh, and giant, you're like, um, you picture some kind of lizard-like hybrid, <laughs> but it's actually just an Irish elk. But, but the it's a giant Irish, yes. Irish elk. Yeah. It's a giant Irish elk whose antlers are so distinctive yeah. that we Actually, have it on the hoodie. On the hoodie, yeah, absolutely. And on my shirt. Shout out to this shirt. Isn't it good? UB Workshop. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> 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 my very, my very quick and tight shout outs. Yes. Um, Christmas themed. Christmas themed t-shirt. Christmas themed. It's, it's like an ugly Christmas sweater. I love it. Yeah. With murder and bows and arrows <laughs> and small animals. <laughs> so uh, a question we saw in the chat as well and you know on, on Steam on Facebook was about the the size of the map. Um, how, how big is it compared to you know 
uh, the previous Far Cry? Huge. Uh, <laughs> now that uh, we, we want the world that, uh, if with every Far Cry, we want the world to feel very authentic, to feel like it's a real place, you can immerse yourself in it, so they, they usually are quite expansive, and this time mm. around it's uh, very much the same, so we want you to lose yourself, we want to make sure that there's a lot of diversity in the environment you will uh, encounter. So uh, there's the uh, giant cedar forest uh, in the east and the, the tundra that we saw a little bit more mm. uh, in the west, in the north, yep. there's the big snowy mountains. In the south, there's the uh, marshlands where the Zilla are settled also and they, they, they do agriculture. Uh, so, so now we have a quite uh, expansive world that you will, uh, will travel to uh, as we usually do in uh, yep. every Far Cry game. Yep. Awesome. I'm actually really loving the... Uh, the chat's trolling us. Yes, it is. With, uh, the AK-47? Yeah, where's the AK-47? Surprisingly, it is. The AK-47 in this game is called the Jaguar. <laughs> yes. It functions almost the same. <laughs> <laughs> you aim it at your meat. enemy. Yeah, you, 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 you put the meat in the... <laughs> <laughs> no, you <What>? don't. <laughs> and then you aim it at your enemy and you pull the trigger. Yeah. The cool thing is uh, while you're doing this, you can also throw a spear at them. So, Also useful. It's a multitasking. So it's, than, well, yeah. it's multitasking at the time. No, but uh, of course, uh, we we knew that coming back to the Stone Age, it's super exciting as a setting for Far Cry because ag again the nature is much bigger. It enables you, us to to visit, explore new type of animals, new type of environment, etc. And it's. Mm. It's the very origins of Far Cry, but we also knew that it would mean that we would lose uh, a lot of the uh, usual uh, Far Cry tools, yeah. so guns, vehicles, etc. But we wanted also to make sure that players felt comfortable uh, with uh, the new tools, new toys that we would be giving them. So that's also how the uh, Beastmaster feature evolved. We wanted to make sure that there was a lot of uh, diversity in the type of approach you could have and yeah. in the, uh, the empowerment you would have. So as you progress in the Beast Mastery, the different beasts, they, uh, they, they fill different roles in the game. Uh, and you will be able to uh, have uh, basically the same type of comfort that you had when you approach an outpost. Mm. Uh, you could go in stealth, so you, this you would pick more uh, the, uh, the uh, felines. Yeah. Uh, so uh, I love the um, jaguar because when you crouch, it's crouching too, and yeah. so you're able to uh, surprise your minutes. enemies. Uh, you have uh, wolves that are more uh, that are better suited for hunting. Hunting mm -hmm. is a big part of the survival at the Stone Age, so we have that. You have bears who are more tanky, so when you want to go in uh, all uh, weapons blazing, mm -hmm. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you can throw in your tank, and and it's also. Uh, it's also individual, so you could throw in your tank, but also not be um, uh, detected immediately. Ah, so you could okay. also stealth around while your your bear is uh, wreaking havoc. Yeah. So yeah, uh, because they don't know it could have appeared. No, they're, like they're anywhere reacting in the world. Uh, systemically <laughs> to what's going on. They don't know that. They that don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Who would uh, ever suspect that? Uh, yeah, just random bear appearing. And so basically, these are the, the weapons of, uh, of this, uh, this time period. And yeah. we've added a lot of opportunities of uh, setting your weapons on fire, having a very uh, huge diversity of weapons, having a poison, fire, etc. So okay. Yeah. I actually, okay. again, I'm sorry that the chat's going so quickly that I can't read who said it. <laughs> but I did yeah. see a question that asked, like, will we see any Easter eggs from previous Far Cries? And the answer is yes. And there's one that I really like, Ooh. but I'm not going to talk about it because I can't. Ah, dun, dun, the tease. Dun, dun. I know. I know. Like it's it's really weird because normally we do these streams either on launch day or post launch, so everyone's played the game. Yeah. But we, because the game is not coming out till February 23rd. They didn't play the game yet. <laughs> they, they haven't played no. the game, so I don't. I don't want to say or do anything that would spoil like a really fun moment when people actually pick the game up and play. So we're being very uh, selective in what yes. we say because we don't want to spoil anything. No. And I mean that's why we chose the gameplay that we did. Yeah, we're in the open world. We're not doing kind of main story stuff so that you guys can experience that on your own. I love the backstabbing question. Will the game Which be one? capped at 24 FPS? Come on! Oh, <laughs> for cinem cinematic feel. For the cinematic feel. <laughs> uh, maybe the stream is not very fluid, but no, the game is... Uh, is, uh, is yeah, okay. It's perfectly <laughs> Absolutely. It looks beautiful here. Yes. As Julien yeah. plays and... Yeah. Rings and, uh, havoc. Puts the world on fire. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm I'm actually really excited because next uh, Julien is going to take on that same outpost, mm -hmm. but he's going to try and stealth it. Yeah. And I don't know if you guys noticed, but there were like five horns to yes. sound for reinforcements. It's so a pretty tough outpost. I bet it's going to fail. It's going to be. I'm betting on. Yeah. 
not fair. Ooh, you're betting it's he's going to fail. <laughs> you know what? You should have brought. No, he's uh, the champion. He always nails yeah. everything. So uh, I, now I'm, gonna I'm fail. taking the, <laughs> <laughs> the bet off. No, no, I'm, I'm taking the bet, but I'm like uh, I'm in the losers camp for yeah. sure. <laughs> we should have actually. We got this hot sauce made from like ghost no. chili peppers. For the team called Mammoth Blood. Yeah, and if you lose the bet, you yeah, like no, I, no, I don't I have know. Some I'm not changing my mind. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's really hot. I don't recommend drinking it. No, it's it. bad. So yeah. I would have his destiny in my hands, right? Yes. <laughs> pretty much. Pretty oh, yes. much. Can we? Like, can we it's the it? kind of hot where you start to cry. <laughs> So oh, I would have yeah. really enjoyed some. <laughs> it's like, do you know what Jesse level of crying. spiciness it is? It's like super high. It's no, a it's lot. terrible. It yeah. kills me. Like okay. I can only have like a little bit. Yeah. All right. Um, tree, yes. Next question: um, Will enemies attempt to recapture outposts? Oh. Um, so as you start, so the at the beginning of the game, uh, the the. Um, the, uh, your tribe, the um, Wenja, so as yep. Astakar, you're part of the Wenja tribe. Uh, when you start, your tribe is scattered and uh, basically the, 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 the world has been uh, dominated by the two other tribes. So as you start to reconquer the world, you will push them back. Uh, they will not uh, recapture the outpost. Once you've captured an outpost, it's really yours and uh, your tribe starts to settle in and uh, you get resources for it. Uh, but uh, at the same time, uh, the uh, open systemic world around you is still active and there's going to be enemy patrols. So yeah. it's not impossible to have skirmishes around Nearby. outposts and uh, mm. your, uh, your uh, tribesmen will actually fight off the, the enemies. Uh, but there's no, uh, there's no logic in losing your outpost there. You're actually pushing back uh, the, different, the, the two different tribes up until you reach their uh, homeland where you can actually take down their, uh, their main guy. For each okay. So I have a question. How is this hat so precariously balanced on your head? <laughs> it's, uh, like we keep cutting to the tight shot of you, <laughs> and it's uh, like what you don't know is I have a tentacle in the back of my <laughs> head, so th okay. that's where it's uh, I'm, okay. I'm controlling the. That's <laughs> beautiful. Uh, someone in the chat asked, "Is there a chance that when you are taming a beast, uh, it will just attack you and the tame will fail?" And I was watching Zhu Yang try a couple times, and that yeah. saber tooth just went at him. Yep. Yeah. That's what happens. Yep. So yes, you can fail. Uh, so the depends, timing uh, is important. Also, what's happen because timing can be uh, easy when you're in a very safe spot yeah. and nothing is happening yes. around you. But uh, sometimes uh, the world around you is actually <laughs> active. <laughs> yeah. And it's it's unexpected. Like anything can happen. Yes. So, yeah. Oh, Ron Uncut said, uh, ah, "I actually got your name in." Uh, mm -hmm. Will they? Will there be more gameplay? Yes. Yes. We're just going through questions. Then we've got. Um, Maybe a giveaway. But yes, there's going to be uh, a bunch more gameplay. So yep. don't worry about it. You didn't miss too much. Yep. But you did miss something cool. So maybe like go back and watch the beginning. <laughs> I, I think taking Psychology. on the post is really cool. <laughs> yeah, no, it, it works. works. <laughs> it works. <laughs> Want those views? <laughs> <laughs> oh, and someone also asked if um, we are going to be talking about what kind of specs they're going to need to play the game. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Julien was playing it on a PS4, I think. Huh? <laughs> Recommended specs. <Yeah. laughs> Very good. Um, moving on. Okay, so, uh, I mean, a lot of people have been asking, and we kind of, I mean, mm. we did announce it, but people asked if there's going to be multiplayer co-op added to the game. Uh, so yeah, that's a tricky question. For uh, for every project, we we actually have to uh, decide how we want to prioritize uh, the things we do. Uh, and as much as uh, I do love uh, multiplayer for uh, for Primal, uh, we really wanted to uh, offer a very fresh, very different take on a on a Far Cry experience. And so we decided to really focus on the single player aspect of the game and uh, and, and make sure that we were really able to recreate this idea of. Uh, survival at the Stone Age and then climbing up the food chain and uh, becoming the apex predator as you tame the wild beasts of, uh, of Oros. So uh, no, there's no multiplayer uh, in uh, this take on uh, Far Cry, and, uh, but uh, there is uh, plenty uh, love on the animal side. Okay. Animal, animal love, love is important. <laughs> <laughs> and an exciting question that we saw this also in the scary. chat <laughs> and also on our social networks was about <laughs> the pets. Do they level up? Do they get stronger? What are their perks? You know, this uh, kind so of this stuff. is something we contemplated for a while. How do we want to uh, have a pet evolution in the game? Uh, it, it's, uh, it's super interesting. We want you to feel attached to your uh, pet. At the same time, we wanted to have a lot of diversity in the pet. We have, uh, I think, 17 different pets that you can uh, 
pets is a pet. I, I'm not pets sure you would call that a pet. Friendly but and, uh, <laughs> <all> cute. <laughs> uh, you can't but so, so we wanted to have the diversity there. Uh, so the way it progresses is, is not you. It's not that you level up your pet. Is you level up your ability to uh, tame bigger mm. and bigger animals. So you tame bigger animals, and you are then able to uh, to uh, hunt. Yeah. Uh, also bigger animals yeah. uh, and uh, so it's, it's not just a linear progression uh, we also wanted you to actually uh, not, not throw away your uh, your wolf that you love so much <laughs> because you spend time with it yeah. uh, they also have roles uh, so depending on what you do in the game what situation you're in and you can really swap them on the fly yeah. uh, you can adapt your uh, strategy so oh no, now it's time to have actually a bear I, 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 yeah, I call my uh, I call uh, my bear and uh, he <laughs> arrives in a, in, a in a few moments hey bear, bear. Yeah. and uh, so these are big categories and then within the categories every type of animal does a few special things so bears are mm. able to give you uh, honey resources uh, the, the wolf is going to be able to send enemies around uh, so yeah. he's warning okay. you uh, etc so there, there, there's a lot of different uh, abilities tied to the animal so the progression is more on Takar and uh, your ability to have bigger beasts and what's cool with that is uh, instead of being just a number on top of the animal, mm. it's actually your animal that yeah. is becoming bigger and bigger and nice. doing more badass stuff. Okay. We actually, cool. I saw a question in the chat from our good friend, Yubi Central. Yes. Who was with Matthias when he got that beautiful uh, yeah. saber tooth skull. I don't skull. know if we can zoom on in. Um, but he asked if you are going to be able to disable the HUD in game. Yes. I actually... So we like we get to play the game at our and desks. It's one of the benefits to working here. <laughs> Do you? No, and just uh, <laughs> and, uh, for the saber tooth skull that you saw, it was because we bought a, like a replica. Uh, we did like a, a fan day with a few like hardcore fans. It was awesome, uh, and we really liked that you know interaction that we have with the community. It was a ton of fun. Yeah, it was I didn't get cool. to go, but and that's, that's where we got fine. It. Um, <laughs> Obviously, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I actually at at my desk, I I played it all HUD off, like mm. everything off, yep. as though you're just kind of in the world. And it is hard as heck. Yeah. <laughs> but it's super immersive. It it's gives you like so a immersive. completely different perspective on the game. And they did such a good job on the sounds. Yep. Like you, you do kind of feel like you're in this very primitive world and everything is trying to kill you. Yep. And so it will. Yes. <laughs> Without that HUD, you do not know what's coming at you. Yep. And yep. some people would you know, <laughs> want to play it this way. Yeah, we keep a lot of uh, options open as how you want to customize uh, your, your, your screens. Yeah. Also, uh, for the uh, outpost question, I, uh, I actually, uh, you also have the options in the options to uh, reset the outpost if you want to replay them. So the enemies oh, okay. will not recapture them, but if you, you want to be able it. to replay them, you will be able to replay them. Okay, awesome. Very cool. Okay, so we have a quick question that I think we kind of, um, one of the difficulties, of course, is as we answer questions, people jump More, into yeah. the stream. <laughs> and so they kind of ask, going, well, why aren't they answering this question? Yes. And we did. Answer my so, question. Answer my question. <laughs> yeah, uh, one of the questions from Arovit, Arovit yeah. was, can you have multiple strategies with animals? And we kind of talked about that, and we kind of saw oh, yeah. it in the first outpost, yeah. that some animals are tanks, some animals are stealth. Yep. Yeah. Some animals, um, like they each have different specialties that you can kind of work around. Yes. Yeah. They have rarity, r yeah, a little bit. Rarities, <laughs> rarities, you say that? Rarities. 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 Uh, also, so the, some of them are harder to find in the world. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's, uh, you have to actually work to collect them. <laughs> well, <that's laughs> throw your Pokeball. <laughs> Just throw your Pokeball. Just throw your Pokeball. Um, it, it, I don't know if we actually did address this, but someone asked if pets... Yeah, we did. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. <coughs> they don't, but there are different kind of rarities that you can find. Yeah. So closer to where you start, you've got kind of base level animals that are like, okay, I can handle this. Mm -mm. And as you get further out, you're like, uh-oh. Like seeing the bear and then the cave bear. The huge bear. one. <laughs> and we saw it. It just like on destroyed your, yeah. beats, uh, your beast in like two seconds. Well, that's it. Yeah. The cave bear on fire was... <laughs> it was pretty... Pretty nice. Very fine, yeah. <laughs> Okay, um, so now, uh, as, you, as you know, we uh, announced at the beginning of the stream that we would play, you know, show gameplay, but we also want to give you the chance to win uh, the awesome hoodie that win I'm wearing. Gear. So yeah, we are going to start our first raffle. So our moderation team is going to tell us if uh, they're ready to launch it, and then you, you just type 
um, exclamation mark uh, <laughs> raffle in the chat to participate, and then we'll draw one winner. And in total, we have three giveaways. So you know, stay until the end of the stream to find out if you can win of those, win one of those. And mm. actually, maybe I could just you know uh, show it because I'm like wearing it right now. Like showing it. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just going to close it because you see about the, vest, so. the antlers a bit better. Mathias is also a model on the side. I am. Yeah. Okay, I am now. So you have the antler. There you go. And in the back, you have a little, uh, little logo. I like our logo. I think it's really fun. Yeah, it's really cool. And you have the yeah, like a, a similar version. Arrow. That's fun. Um, that's fun. And that's, that's fun. from our friends at TV Workshop. That's awesome. And it's this T-shirt. Um, you know, it's just like a, a short sleeve T-shirt with the, the saber tooth skull. That's not the one you're wearing, is it? Uh, wearing no, no, no. Uh, oh, Julien. Julien? Are you wearing yeah. a different version? Julien is wearing a different version, which is not version. available. <laughs> yeah. Oh. But for the ones uh, for the ones we just shown, uh, like obviously we are giving them away, but you can also um, yeah, you can also you can buy purchase them, them on, uh, on the UB workshop. I do a raffle uh, for Julien's actual shirt. This one? <laughs> with the, the sweat. Yes. 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 Taking it off. Julien's yes. game-worn awesome. shirt. shirt. Signed. <laughs> game -worn Signed. Shirt. <laughs> signed, biologically signed, you know, with so the yeah, sweat. Uh, the raffle is open to everyone yep. worldwide. It's not limited. Yes. Wherever you live, you can get it. And I think we're streaming on YouTube streaming at the yes, same time. We are. Unfortunately, YouTube live, yeah. yeah, the the raffles on the on Twitch chat. Twitch. Yep. So sorry. So if you want to participate, that. just you know, go quickly on Twitch and type exclamation mark raffle. All right. But um, there's going to be others. This yes. is just the first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the first. There are going to be three ones. And now, um, before we move to gameplay, we're going to have a quick look at a video uh, that you would be commenting. Oh, yes, commenting videos. You like he this. moves to the left field, <laughs> passes the ball. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> so that's the, uh, the Beastmaster trailer. Uh, it was, uh, we announced the game saying, OK, we're doing a Far Cry at the Stone Age. Then we wanted to reveal a little bit more details. So we start uh, the video uh, talking about the, the nature of this world. It's a very savage, very dangerous world. Again, it's a time when man was not at the top of the food chain, so we wanted to show the, the predators of Oros, especially at night, it's, it's, it's dangerous. So here you are hunted by a saber-toothed tiger. Uh, but uh, as you progress through the game, uh, you, Takar will become the Beastmaster. This is also tied to a historical moment where man started to use uh, wolves uh, in order to uh, hunt uh, mammoths. Uh, and so with uh, the different animals you will have, you will be able to use them to attack your enemies. So here the, uh, the saber tooth is more on the feline side, so he's able to approach stealthily and surprise his enemies. Uh, and as we discussed uh, earlier, they all come in different styles, so you have a lot of different animals. The wolf is better at hunting. Hunting human is also Man, a good spot. that wolf is dope. <laughs> <laughs> um, and you have bears who are more uh, the tanky tanks, uh, so they, they can take a lot of punishments. Uh, they can take a lot of damage from enemies, while you actually uh, go around and can take the enemies down from behind. Uh, and so here um, we see a, a glimpse of um, uh, the shaman uh, of the game, so his name is uh, Tensai, you will meet him uh, early on. He's the one who is going to introduce you uh, through vision to the idea of beast mastery. And one of the first animals you will be able uh, to, uh, to summon and control is going to be an owl that we just saw. Uh, that is basically your recon tool, so one of the tools of the beast master is to be able to see through the eye of the owl and tag his enemies, so in the stealth approach it's something that is uh, much more uh, practical. Uh, and so basically all this diversity is your new arsenal in this Far Cry. And you can write them. Far Cry yes. Primal! Beautiful. So, I'm commenting, awesome. yeah. I'm awesome. trying, I'm doing my best here. No, 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 awesome. Really that good That was job. super really well done. Job. Great yeah, job, great job. lags apparently, sorry guys. It's less epic with the lag. <laughs> but I'm what so you can sorry. do is go to, uh, go yeah, <laughs> find the, the video on the internet. On and the YouTube and channel. And share to my yeah. Yeah. comment. Okay. Sorry. Well, thanks a lot, JC. That was awesome. You rock. Uh, we can now announce the winner of the raffle. Oh, do we have the winner? Yeah, Yay. we have the winner in a few more minutes. And yeah, um, we're going to mention something that the players asked just before in the chat. Do you they see were saying, no um, are you going to announce the PC specs, so the minimum and the recommended ones? And yes, we are. Uh, in, a, in a few minutes, you're going to find them on the UB blog and on the forum, on the game forum. Uh, so it's farcrygame.com, obviously, uh, and ubblog.com. Uh, so in a few minutes, you will have the PC specs. That's another exclusive of this stream. So we're, we're happy to you know, communicate with you and like 
share this information with you. Just let us know in the, in the comment section if you have any feedback on this. And we have our new, such a trans transition. We have a <laughs> beautiful <new> transition. <laughs> We have our dev. next guest. <laughs> yeah, wait, wait, wait. JC what has magic, magically He's transformed. <laughs> He's actually behind the camera, but you know. <laughs> he took off his toque, and now he's Naomi, our <laughs> illustrator and concept artist, or one of our illustrators. Yeah, and concept we have artists. a team. Yeah. Yep. Yes. Um, oh, so we have our winner. Yes. Uh, why can't you guys make names that I can pronounce? <laughs> Distzur. 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 Okay. That's I'm fine. assuming it's like this. This is sewer. Well, congratulations. And yeah. in the chat, the moderators will tell you how you can get in touch with us to get your shipping address and your size. Yeah, they will send you a Twitch so. uh, private message to ask you where we can uh, deliver it. Beauty. Awesome. <laughs> now back to Naomi. Back to Naomi. What um, do you do? <laughs> so, yeah, I'm a concept artist on Far Cry Primal. Yep. Uh, I mainly work with designing the characters in the game, but I also did concepts for the animals, the weapons, and some marketing assets. Cool. That's pretty cool. So kind of concepts are when, like, JC was explaining, like, when you start to think about the game and think about what you want, you guys come in and kind of create kind of a tone or a feel mm -hmm. that the game is then a then follow. Yeah, we looked a lot uh, at research into the Stone Age, so we took a lot of the inspiration from real life and how things were back then, and we sort of developed a visual language because we had a lot of constraints, like for clothing, they didn't necessarily have sewing, so you can't just mm. wear pants, so you have to get a little creative on how exactly <laughs> people wore clothes and, and things like that, so... Don't love that it. Was, you can't uh, just wear pants. No. no. <laughs> it's impossible. That's what I, just I like it. I just wear pants. <laughs> you have to do some research. Some, yes. some yeah. loincloths happening over here. Yeah, lots of loincloths. So that was interesting. Okay. And actually, it's a good transition because uh, we received on the internet as soon as we uh, pub, you know, announced the game. Uh, there were a lot of fans. We have a lot of fan artists uh, and artists in our community. Mm -hmm. And they sent us a few pictures that uh, we, can, uh, we can have a look now. And it will be super interesting you know, to have your art artist point of view on these images made by the fans. Oh, cool, yeah. You okay. So we're going to have a look at the, uh, the slideshow uh, in any second now. Uh, and yeah, it will be uh, super interesting because uh, those are you know, fan-made. They sent it to us, and uh, we, we thank them for that. There you go. Oh, cool. We actually do get a lot of fan art um, at Ubisoft generally, but on Far Cry especially. And so we have some fan edits that people put together. We have some new art that people kind of send in. And I just want to tell you guys, when you do make it, we do see it and we do share it with the whole team. Yes. So thank you so much. Yeah. And if you want to do your own, you know, assets and edits, you can download the fan kit. Uh, we have two available and they are, you know, published in the chat. You just, you know, our moderation team will just type it and you will, you will see the download, download links. Beautiful. Okay. Yeah. So those ones are actually uh, mobile phone wallpapers. Oh, cool. So you can customize and, and get all primal with the... <laughs> On yourself, yep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, that, that's neat. It's made by Kid Art. Ah, uh, uh, Sabretooth. Yes. <laughs> Sabretooth is legit your favorite. You just yeah. keep mentioning Sabretooth. I, I really like the Sabretooth. Also, it's a cat, and I, I love cats, but it's a bigger cat, much more um, imposing. It always comes back to cats. <laughs> <laughs> the wow. stream always we're, just turns to cats. We're on the internet, so... Yeah. Oh, that's nice and gritty with the yeah. blood. I really like the, the contrast mm. he's you know, been playing with, uh, Kid Art, with, you know, before we saw the dark and, you know, dark and yellow, now dark and orange, and just before blue, white, red. It's a really interesting contrast. Yeah. So that's two versions of the same, black and white. It's very, very yeah. nice. Oh, that's cool. I like the, um, uh, the traditional medium. I guess it's a bit more... Uh, yeah. Paper. Yeah, paper, <laughs> traditional, that's neat. Well, it's funny because most people do kind of, uh, like, this is actually um, our bud, Matt Adam, who's in the chat, yeah. who was our first Pagan Min cosplayer. Ooh. So big shout-outs to Matt Adam. Um, but yeah, like, I really, I really dig kind of the, the fan edits because they mm. take all the stuff that we put out and just make it their own. Yeah. And, and it's I, their own perspective as well, their own yeah. version. Oh, that's absolutely adorable. <laughs> 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 that, that's really nice. I guess the connection with the animals. Oh, and the plushies, yes. which I think yeah, there's we, one have version, plushies, uh, uh, we, we have plushies of our own as well. We have a similar plush in the back. Yeah. yeah. Also bought during the, the <laughs> fan you know, trip. That yeah. was really cool. 
Oh yeah, that one. I remember um, it passed around on the the team mailing list, yes. and I remember being so excited seeing that. Uh, this was the <laughs> first piece of fan art that we actually got after the announcement. And what kind of cracked me up was um, it's from uh, Fireproof Marshmallow on Tumblr, and she was putting together like you know, oh, Far Cry Primal seems like fun. Wouldn't it be nice to you know be able to oh, like a mammoth? Sure and you're like, yes, yeah. you can actually. That's cool. awesome. Yeah, it's nice to to see like the connection with the animals is one of my favorite things in the game yeah. as well. So it's nice to see that that people like that as well. No, we love you guys. Keep sending us stuff. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's awesome. Um, so now, okay, I think that what we need to do. Is switch to is some turn gameplay. the focus <laughs> back to Julien. <laughs> also, I decided I'm going to call you JJ. <laughs> no, don't do that. It's sure. JJ. 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 Yeah. All right. You're for all here no for that. reason other than I think it's humorous. So and it's easier to say than my real last name, right? Yeah. I made the decision <laughs> to not say any last names because I knew that I would ruin yours. Yep. Yeah. And now we can JJ. It is. So. I'm sticking with that decision. <laughs> JJ. So thank you, JJ. And sure. we can switch to gameplay. Um, and actually, just to put it back to perspective, because some you know, viewers might have joined uh, midstream, but this is the same outpost that we saw before, but yes. played in a completely different way and played during the day. Yes. So, Julien, you're going to try to play it in a more, much more stealthy approach. Yeah, let's fire it, like, hopefully. Yeah. And yeah. you can take your time. Like, really, just take your time. Do it. Yeah. Try There's to like do it undetected. <laughs> <laughs> Remember there were like the bets that was done. Yeah, I yeah. think in, yeah. in the outpost. So yeah. that'll be a challenge. So people in the chat were actually asking if we had flying pets. Yes. And if you could fly in the game. And I, I think, think technically we're doing it right now. So. Yeah, yeah. We are. Just saying. <laughs> Just saying. Yeah. And you worked on a little bit on the. On the owl. On the yes. Owl. Yeah. Uh, I did the the concept for it. But it's still uh, very much inspired from real life. So what we did, we looked at different kinds of owls um, that we could inspire ourselves from. And since we always see it from like a back angle, we went with um, Great Horn Owl, which oh, has yeah. like the little tufts uh, on the head. So it has a much more interesting silhouette because mm -hmm. that, that'll be just how you see it from the back. Um, so yeah, that, that, that was uh, what we did for, Beautiful. for the owl. And if you kind of noticed, mm. this isn't going well, bud. Um, <laughs> oh my. Oh my. <laughs> it's fine. If you noticed, um, you call the owl in basically for recon. Yeah. So the owl was able to spot kind of all the different enemies. Oh. And just... if you noticed when he went into that gray vision, that's hunter vision. Yes. So you can use your hunter vision with the owl mm -hmm. and you can claw at people's eyes. So there's that. Yeah, mm -hmm. you can also drop bombs on them if you'd like with the yeah. bomb. But I, uh, I guess that wouldn't be very stealthy for this. Drop an owl bombs. Yeah. <laughs> no. It goes. Uh, it gives you a good layout of the outpost, and like you can decide whether or not you want to use that specific beast, or try to attack from above or from the side, or mm. at night or at day. It's really like uh, you, you have a wide variety of uh, of ways to uh, to attack an outpost. Yeah. And in this case, we're going to try to do a few. If you, take them. If you this pull this off, well. man, if you pull this off, <laughs> this is not we going are well. really impressed. <laughs> you could even maybe try to uh, like free the, the bear, right? Oh, you're yeah. going to try to do hold a, on, hold on. a takedown? Yes. yes. And you can, yeah. That was brutal. Okay, not detected. Good. <laughs> so far, so good. <laughs> I have to remind myself that we're actually on a live stream instead of me just watching this gameplay. Yeah. Yeah. And you're like, this is fun. You know. Like, it feels like I'm emotionally invested in JJ here making it through stealth. Yes. We actually have to try <laughs> to not to talk to him or he will be completely disturbed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. For uh, when he was doing it just to salt, he's like, ah, I can yeah. talk to you. It's fine. Oh. Now it's like, no, 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 no. Yep, yep, yep. Gotta concentrate, gotta concentrate. Yeah, he can't obviously kill him. Whoa. He can't obviously kill him now because then the you know all the the other guards will see him. So how many of the horns have you taken out? One. Oh, that's not good. Okay, not a good angle. Because there are like three or four static ones and one sentry, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Two nice. Sentries, nice. Two sentries. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh yeah, and you can see it because there's a little like logo on their on their heads, right? Oh, oh, that's a good change. Oh, oh, no! no. no. Oh. Oh. I guess it will be a change of tactics. Yes. Oh. <laughs> I guess it will be. You the problem are is very lucky exactly. that the we didn't no. have the uh, Mammoth Blood Challenge. Yes. Oh, you would be dead by now. So yeah. let's, uh, let's change uh, plan B. <laughs> 
That's plan his B. name. Plan B is you call in a cave bear? That's his actual name. Of course. Oh, the cave bear's it's name plan is Plan B. B. Yeah. He, named, he named his pet. Yeah, That's and you're beautiful. freeing the second bear. <sighs> okay. But the important thing is if you remain undetected, you can actually finish the outpost without anyone having known you went through it. Yeah, right? but that, that's a very difficult... If you want more of a challenge, <laughs> it's a... Yeah. I mean, I almost want to give, like, Julien a proper shout-out that I have seen him do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, it can it's be feasible. done. He has done it. But it is possible. Yeah. And it makes sense. We're during the day as well, so, you know, it, it's, it's more difficult to stay undetected. That's true. Last time we were at night. Yeah. So there's less people on Ooh, patrol. Nice use of the bee bomb. <laughs> I always love the casual brush off of the bees. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, oh, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. This That's always great. happens. Ooh. I can see JC from the corner of my eye. I'm not feeling too good right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. JC is behind the camera and looks like, no, no. Mm, he's judging. What's happening? He's judging. Because on the minimap, you can see all the enemies. Yeah, <laughs> so if you want, nice we can actually restart the, uh, the outpost and try to do it again. You tell me. Can we? You yeah. want to try? Uh, yeah, sure. I if mean, we can go back to the camera. I don't know. You tell us. Sure. Okay. I believe in you. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. Someone in the chat minutes, says, though. this is also how my stealth runs normally go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is how most of the time This is why go. we brought you in, bud. Yeah, because yeah. if I had been playing it second one, I would have been noticed. Yes. Wow. I would have just been like, oh, there was a dude behind me. Cool, 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 cool. It's so difficult. You could see, any, see it in the outpost. There are so many guards. They are rotating. Uh, you, like... You could see the the, 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 the tanky guy, the, the chieftain that uh, was killed, but yes. right behind him. You couldn't see him like arriving and like turning yeah. in that room where you were with him. So it's actually uh, pretty, pretty delicate. difficult. Yeah, pretty delicate. <laughs> oh, JJ, the chat called you a noob. Oh, that's <laughs> worse. No, no. That's no. Right. Is that worse than uh, JC staring at you or...? Oh, I don't know. It's a, it's a mix of everything right now. No, don't worry about it. You're going to be fine <laughs> you know on the second try. Actually, I think they were out to hunt something like in the distance. Ah. I, I think that's what threw me off there, but I don't have right. any excuse, you know. Okay. All right. No, 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 no. It's, you know, it's an explanation. Lovely. Yeah. So Fantastic. do you think Julien's second try is going to work? Yeah. I have faith in him. <laughs> yeah. he, can, he can do it. Yeah, let's, yeah, yeah. let's believe in him. I'm, I'm, sure, I'm sure he can do it. You know? <laughs> and you know, that's the perfect example to say this is alive. You know, it's not pre-recorded footage, yeah. but we expected him to succeed. <laughs> but it's fine. We have, a, we have a, several tries, and you know, it's more gameplay for you guys. So you can, you can see how, how the game actually runs you know, on a pre-released uh, beta version. <laughs> I have unfortunately given you uh, an internet nickname of JJ New. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh, my. oh no! You did. I hope it doesn't follow you for the rest of your days. No, no, it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. I'm, I'm definitely calling a, you JJ New, though. Raft, yeah. So we're um, we're just Noob, resetting so. uh, the outpost. We're not ready yet. Uh, we're going to tell you in a second. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, it's uh, it's interesting to see that things do not go according to plan, and then you have to come up with a quick solution, which was in this case the two bears, the one that he freed and well, the one the that was the thing was, was he definitely could have finished that outpost. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But he told us he could do it clean. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So we're making him do it again. Yep. Yeah. That's all there is all to right. it. All right. Take two. Take two. Let's try it again. Godspeed, JJ Good Noob. <laughs> Wait, <do> you... <laughs> <laughs> Okay. That, that was just mean. <laughs> Okay, so again, yeah, to spot the enemies up. in the outpost, you're gonna use the all. Really yeah, interesting. That's, that's really. I mean. Yeah. They need the owl. If you're gonna yeah, do yeah, stealth, really you need the owl. Yeah. Like you didn't use the owl in the assault because it doesn't matter. No. But you need to know where all of those horns yes. are. And it tags them on the on the minimap too. So. See, this is what I was talking about with hunter vision. Yes. So it kind of shows you where all the important bits are and. If you're actually hunting an animal, mm. it shows you the tracks of the animal and the blood splotches. Yes. Love that owl takedown. Mm -mm. So badass. This is, this was one of the uh, the horn. Uh, the horn guys. Horn that was guy, okay. Uh, so the sentry. So one yep. sentry is down. Yeah. Mm. One remains. Oh, and someone in the chat said you should be very proud of that owl. It looks great. Oh. Hey. Well, thank you. Congratulations nice on your owl. <laughs> <laughs> Good job on that. Okay. okay. So. Here. For those of you just tuning in, oh. JJ Noob Good is job. going to attempt to take down this outpost full stealth, which will require him full concentration. to take out five alarms. <gasps> oh my. Oh okay. no. Oh, First gosh. one is down. All good. That's oh, okay. did you destroy your, the wall? <laughs> that you, there. 
You can great, hide great. behind. Great, great, so great, if you great. were to free the bear, it would alert them, or they would just you know, well, keep. I feel like it puts them in a state of uh, yeah, 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 panic yeah. and chaos. Yeah, he, yeah, can, he yeah, can't yeah. fully of control the situation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, but they will be more watchful. So I think now the the primary objective is really to try to get as many sentries and as many uh, horns. Uh, I was about to say offline. <laughs> <laughs> Chad believes <laughs> in you, JJ. As, yeah. Chad's giving you love. <laughs> they think you can do this. To avoid any In JJ we trust. <laughs> In JJ we trust. Can I, I guess fine art now? So this one should be Relatively good to go. Okay. okay. There's okay. someone behind Oh, God. You. That was a dagger okay, he's to the, the base of their skull. Oh, good. Good. I think you would be able to also yes. summon one of your leopards or something to help you take this nice. stealthy. Yeah, why no animal, JJ? Oh yeah, well, you can uh, call your jaguar. No, no, he he thinks well, that he's got. Too, uh, too far okay. in right now, but yeah, that's a good point. And then he would have like used the same approach, very stealthy. Would have, would have been a feline, so he yeah. would have been like less, like more difficult to spot. Oh, nice shot. Getting a lot this of love is, on the ambient is, game uh, sound. Yeah, that's pretty. Which impressive. we can't hear. <laughs> We have I can make them silences feel like... on the side. <laughs> <laughs> okay. How many horns do you have left, do you know? I think one, one you guy only have left. one only guy one left. left? Yeah. Oh, JJ cute. Noob. Oh, we can't jinx it, though. No, <laughs> no, don't jinx yeah, you're it. You're right, you're right. It's, it's easy, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, From go the other on. way around. Yeah, looking at it is pretty easy. <laughs> <laughs> so three enemies left and one horn. I think you can maybe, do it. Maybe a bit more. Oh, yeah, yeah. four enemies. Five. There's one in the distance, I think. So that's one of the sentries. You can see that, you know, the logo at the top of the, his head. So if he detects you, the first thing he's gonna do. Yeah. Oh, nice! There you go. Oh. Okay, okay. Take down from above. I gotta redeem myself. Roy in the chat forgives me for the time in Far Cry 4 when I left the bear in the cage. It took a year and they a new game. They remember that? Yes, it took a, a year and a new game, but I've finally been forgiven for leaving that bear. Good job. Thank you. Obviously, I love bears and didn't mean to leave it behind. Yeah, just to explain what happened, it was during a, a live stream. I um, just forgot to let a bear out of a cage. Okay. Doesn't matter. It's fine. We've moved on. <laughs> I've been forgiven. Okay. It's fine. It's going pretty mm. well. And I see that some enemies in the minimap don't appear red, but white. Uh, Those right. are like more civilians. Yep. I'm having a hard time. Uh, yeah, yeah, those are uh, just simple villagers. Okay. He needs to concentrate. Are you trying to do a headshot? On wrecking yeah, havoc. stop talking to JJ Noob here. He's I'm killing sorry. it. <gasps> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, lady. <laughs> So they won't attack, but they can still see me. They will raise the alarm. Yeah. But yeah, as uh, mentioned before, this is the same outpost that we um, went in first uh, before we attacked it at nighttime, and now it's daytime. And you'll see that the 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 enemies will have a different behavior based on the day-night cycle. So it's it's pretty interesting to uh, base off your your strategy off that. Mm -hmm. I do like this time. It's not all on fire. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Last time it was... It looked very different when it was fully aflame. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And the enemies have different kind of, like, attitudes, too. Oh, man. We're seeing some some people in the chat saying, kill the civilians. That's not nice. No, it's not. No. Oh, Don't God. Do it. Oh! No. <laughs> wow. That was beautiful. That was... Nice. Okay. JJ, you Good are no job. longer no, a noob. No. Good job. <laughs> Fantastic. Undetected. Okay. All right. Pretty, pretty great job on the on the second try. Thanks. So yeah. You did manage to do it. Completely Let's just edit the first one out, right? Yeah, this yeah, yeah. Is, you never saw live the, or the first the first run. It's all fine. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. So this was the, the the first piece of gameplay that we wanted to show you. There's going to be a, a second piece mm -hmm. that's you know coming up a bit later. Mm -hmm. uh, but now we want to do a quick transition to your concept art because we've been talking about what players have been ma making and now we can maybe discuss a little bit what you have been making. Well, sure. Yeah. <laughs> Let's and take a look. So here you go. And you can download these. Uh, there will be the download link in the chat.
Um, so yeah, that concept art that you see there was actually the first concept uh, for Primal. And the idea with this concept was to just get the general uh, mood of what the Stone Age was. So it was, um, I was thinking more about something like scale, uh, the man versus nature kind of epic feeling to it. So it was, it was a piece to sort of get started with getting people excited about uh, that, that setting. Um, so I think it did cool. the trick. Uh, that's a model sheet for the chieftain club of the Udam tribe. Um, with the Udam, they use a lot of bones and things in their and how they build their weapons and what they dress in their their housing and all that. It's also very chaotic because they're the most primitive of the three tribes you'll encounter in the game. Um, so I really wanted to get that gritty feeling that you know you don't want to get hit by that um, oh, no. on the side of the head. Supervising. No, it looks jagged what? and horrifying. What is the skull at the top of the weapon? That that would be a lion skull. Okay. Um, maybe so maybe a younger tooth. one, but no, no, no. The saber tooth would have much more uh, massive canines teeth, than yeah. that one. Okay. And yeah, which that, we see here. Actually, the yeah. saber tooth right there. Um, <laughs> that's another model uh, sheet. Um, when we do the concept, uh, that's specifically. Um, used as reference for the 3D modelers. So uh, I did the initial concept and, and then put it in the side and front view so they can have a, a good idea of where to go with the model. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's, it's a very collective um, uh, work uh, ethic. So mm -hmm. there will be transformations from concept to 3D. It will never look exactly uh, the, the same per se because it goes through a sort of evolution. Uh, sometimes, like for example, on characters, capes, are really difficult to do in 3D. So you'll oh, nice. you'll come across certain um, challenges where it's like, oh, in 3D, we're not sure how that's going to translate. So it's about uh, getting together as a team in order to overcome those obstacles and and design things that will look as best as possible in the game. Okay. Um, yeah. So it's really all about like team exercise to end up with the final version. Yeah, exactly. Okay. And sometimes even like you know you keep getting feedback and it, it keeps like changing and evolving through the throughout the development of, of the game. Yeah, yeah. And on the inspiration side, how do you proceed to uh, go from because obviously we don't have any pictures of what a cemetery yeah. looked like. We only have like references and like maybe archaeologists and you know stuff like this. But how do you end up from like references at the beginning? And like the end version, which should you know truly depict you know the, what a saber tooth looked like. Well, what we are the main challenges you encounter? We always start with like um, collecting a lot of reference materials. So we looked at a lot of um, uh, research that they did into the Stone Age. Uh, we looked at skeletons in the museum to compare it to how it it looked. Uh, like a line back then and a line nowadays. Yeah. Uh, and after you you have all that reference material, it's about sort of. Um, using all that 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 real uh material and and putting your own twist to it making it even more like mus more muscle mm. uh more badass into it yeah because they are bigger now i mean now in far cry primal yeah and it was all much bigger like i noticed especially mm. for bears looking at cave bear uh skeletons they had much longer limbs and they were much bigger than a person in fact they were very intimidating creatures right. so we tried our best to represent that in the game so that when you're walking around you really get this this feeling of scale uh, okay. especially with the animals and even the environment the trees and all that okay. nice and just as a reminder if you like those concept apps you can download them uh, it will appear in the chat the download link and you know when we publish the video as a replay it will also be published in the in the comments in the description yep yeah, so I mean, if you check in the chat, there's a bunch of stuff that you can download, and I think it's kind of cool to have yeah. your stuff, because yeah. it's very neat. Yes. As someone who can't draw anything, <laughs> like You're it's, it, no, it always, like, it kills me when I, like, when you pass by the illustrators, and the artists in particular, and you see mm. their screens, and you see what they're doing, and you're like, how, is that not a real thing? Like, is that not a photo? And yeah. you just see you putting little strokes on the fur and stuff, and you're like, what? Do you, like it's just it's so cool. It's it's a funny it's a funny question actually. Do you get sometimes that feeling like you're always drawing these you know beautiful you know 
images and you get sometimes like yeah that's normal that's what i do every day and someone just shows up and says oh that's the most beautiful <laughs> in your picture of a saber tooth i've ever seen it's it's a little uh scary sometimes actually or ca catches me off guard because yeah. uh, i'm like you say i'm used to it so i'm just doing my job and mm -hmm. then people kind of come over and they're like oh my gosh that, that i'm so excited to see this and I'm like, okay, okay. sure. Like, <laughs> and you're like, this is the old version. It's not the best looking one. Yeah, yeah, wait till I'm done. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> um, all right, so now uh, it's time for a second giveaway. Oh, yeah. Ooh, yes. Ruffles. Yes, yes, yes. Ruffle time. So we're going to wait for the moderation team to tell us that uh, we are ready to open the raffle. But again, as a reminder, we have, uh, for the second giveaway, we have one hoodie and one t shirt to give away. So I'm going to. Um, like, should you I gonna, show them you're again? You're going to go back to model mode? <laughs> I, no, I don't. do it. Do you want to do it? Do you want to do it with no. the... I have a version here <laughs> under the table. No, no. I, I okay. think that the uh, the chat would rather see you model this okay. beautiful hoodie. In the meantime, you can explain that it's like worldwide. Anyone <laughs> can participate. You just did. You can also do a beautiful worldwide. turnaround, uh, Slow show motion. off all oh, the angles. Yeah, <laughs> lovely, lovely. So yes, this raffle is worldwide. Anywhere you live, you can enter to win. I know that we are streaming yeah, on YouTube yes. live. Uh, unfortunately, all the raffles are in the Twitch chat. Yes. So sorry about that. Um, so you are playing to win mm -hmm. this beautiful UB Workshop hoodie yep. and this beautiful UB Workshop Primal t-shirt. So you can get your Primal on. Yep. And if you don't win it... Oh, product placement. <laughs> <laughs> this is UB, come on. <laughs> uh, and yeah, if you if you don't win it, you know, if you're not among the, the one person that is uh, drawn as a winner, <laughs> you can always one. <laughs> you can always buy it. There so can only it's, be one. It's it's fine. And uh, Roy in the chat, yep. I also miss talking about wrestling. <laughs> Maybe in later streams I can go back to my crazy love affair with professional wrestling. Yeah, you will. I definitely will. As long as people stop uh, monitoring what I'm up to, I'm just going to talk about wrestling. <laughs> um, okay, now, so now before we move on to the next piece of gameplay that we wanted to show you, uh, we're going to have a quick look at the trailer. Did you announce the PC specs? Uh, yeah, we did. Oh, we didn't announce the PC specs. We said we would communicate them on uh, the forum and on the okay, UB blog okay. website. And I think... Do we have an easy link in the chat? Um, I, yeah, we can post the, the forum link. Uh, once right. it's once it's live, I don't know if it's live already. Maybe after the raffle, because it's just going to get like maybe that. pushed up. Maybe that. Yes. Yeah, yes. That, some people were saying, um, "Have you posted the PC specs?" And yes, we have. Uh, if they are so, they will be posted either now or like within the next minutes. But it should be on like on the forum and on the EV block. There you go. So Jason's in the chat. Oh, it's already uh, live. Okay, cool. The perfect. Uh, so you will have the the link to the forum in the chat, and you can check them out and let us know what you think. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think it's fun for people it's, who No, it is, definitely. And you know, PC is uh, is important, so definitely important to share those those uh, recommendations. Mm -hmm. PC oh, cool. Master Race. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the uh, input, JJ. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Thanks and for now, joining us, bud. <laughs> so before we move to the to the gameplay uh, footage, we're gonna show you a quick trailer that most of you may have already seen. I think Mas Brashtar, Winja. Sushash, Kartica.
Okay. All right, guys. Uh, we are back, and yep. we have a brand new guest with us. No, it's still Naomi. <laughs> <laughs> Finish my hair. So we have our lead writer, Kevin. Yes. Hello. Hi. Yeah, I, I can actually pronounce your last name, but I, I made a decision but you, to not say you started, you committed. So, yeah. That's I was fine. like, can't That's make fine. an exception for Kevin. I understand. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll, I'll live with that. And JJ, I'm into that. I'm all <laughs> over JJ. that. JJ or? Done. <laughs> Just JJ. So much easier. So yeah, can you tell us a little bit what you do uh, on Far Cry Primal? Yeah, uh, I'm the lead writer, and <laughs> you know, like it <laughs> That's says, it, thank you. <laughs> I yeah. lead the writing team. Yep. Uh, no, we're in charge of the story uh, for the game. I work with uh, several writers, and uh, I also work with the narrative director. Mm -hmm. Craft a story, put it together, and uh, deliver it to uh, the fans. Nice. That's, uh, that's basically the gist of it. <laughs> yeah, it's true. A lot of game jobs are kind of nebulous. That Lead one's pretty writers straightforward. Kinda like, yeah, yeah, you kind of right. know what that one's about. Um, so yeah, th but that's uh, that's what we do, and th uh, we had a great time on this one. Uh, it was uh, it was a f it was a fun project because it was it was just a whole different mindset. You know, you had to get into this whole kind of different. Um, you're, you're, it's ten thousand BCE, and so what does that mean uh, in terms of how you how you speak? Because you don't just talk normally like uh, like we do. You don't use idioms. You don't. Uh, we want to avoid acronyms, and so simple things like uh, talking about the afternoon, for example. Mm. You don't say that because there is no concept of time, so there was no <laughs> noon. So it's like okay, well, we got to change the way we talk about that. So that little little details like, like that were fun. You must have been like, ah, I got this, I got this, and you write something out and go, ah, I can't use that. <laughs> that's actually exactly what happened. We're like, yeah, we can do this, no problem, no problem. No, that doesn't. No, okay, no, that's not working at all. So we had to back up a lot on uh, on those sorts of things. Really cool. Well, that's pretty cool. And since we have you kind of with us here, we pulled um, some questions from the fans that are more kind of uh, narrative yeah. related. Mm -mm. And yep. of course, in the chat, if you have any questions that um, yeah. could be directed to Kevin, you'll definitely. Now is the time. Now's the time. Yeah. <laughs> now is the time. Absolutely. And hopefully the raffle ends soon enough that uh, the chat stops moving like that. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I'm That's watching. True. I just like, can't. It goes so fast. Yep. <laughs> yeah. It does go so fast. <laughs> Fantastic. And we actually, with you, we're going to have another little bit of gameplay. Yep. Brought to us by the fantastic <laughs> JJ. JJ. <laughs> Normal noob. No more new. I'm fine with that. Okay. JJ right. Elite. I think uh, while the winner gets announced and gets drawn, uh, we can uh, we can move on to the to the next section of the of the game. Yeah, page you want to load us up, bud? Take it away, Jim. Just to kind of um, set this up again, yep. we're not trying to uh, spoil anything in the main story. We're not going to show you guys stuff that is going to be kind of very important to what's yep. going on. Because we don't, again, we don't want to spoil the game for you. Yep. We want you guys to pick it up and play through it and be excited on your own. Mm -mm. But we do want to show off a little bit more about the cultures yes. that you guys created for this game. And so we've got a fun open world mission. Yeah, this yeah. is one. This is called the uh, Spirit Totem. And the idea oh, is, no, no, uh, a part you haven't seen here, you've, you've met someone who's told you uh, that uh, one of your fellow Wenja was going out in the world to place a totem and he hasn't returned so something's happened to him so so your mission is now go uh go find this guy grab his totem the totem and you know and place the totem uh spirit totems are are important to, to the wenja they're a tribe that is um uh, uh, animistic they're uh, they believe in uh, uh all things have a spirit, so not just uh, uh, people, but they believe plants, even uh, inanimate objects like um, uh, rocks and the tree. Oh, wow. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. The rocks uh, have a spirit. So uh, placing a, uh, um, a totem is a way to, uh, uh, they want to place it so that they, they believe that the, then they have a spirit kind of watching over them. Okay, like so a, that's like a protection almost. Exactly, exactly. So that's why it's important for them to uh, place these totems. And you'll do that throughout the world. And this is just one mission that mm -hmm. uh, shows you about that. And uh, where are we? Where are we? I'm trying in to remember. Fantastic which, land of Uros. Beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> so nice. 
Oh, Ooh, okay. Already some. Is uh, this the guy? No. Okay. So this isn't the guy who. No. No. <laughs> this isn't the body you're looking. <laughs> this for. This isn't the body you're <laughs> looking for. <laughs> But I think you've got to be careful because I believe there's uh, Udam. Uh, yeah, there they are. There's Udam around here. Yeah. In this area. So we're going to have to watch. It. Man, good, good shot, shot Man. JJ. Wow, Julian oh, Manning, good it's... jump, too. <laughs> nice. <laughs> and I, think there's I would have definitely one fallen on that one. Yep. And that is why we brought in JJ. the ringer. Yeah. <laughs> JJ. Yep. JJ Elite. JJ Elite. <laughs> JJ He's gone from noob to elite. I like that. That's nice. Fantastic. Okay. Um, so we are getting a ton of questions in mm. the chat, yeah. which we're going to kind of hold on to for a bit later. Yep. We but just know that we see you. That was uh, Hunter Vision you were using there, which is great. Yeah, we, yeah. Uh, the Hunter Vision, I think we've talked about it a bit before, but it was Shoot important. Shoot a deer. <laughs> Shoot a deer. <laughs> yeah, Shoot yeah. a deer while you're looking for a, a spirit totem. <laughs> The, uh, the Hunter Vision's uh, important, uh, uh, an important feature. This is the Stone Age, and uh, survival was paramount, so, so their sense of uh, awareness of nature around them was, was key to survival, and, and it was highly tuned. So for us, we wanted to make sure we had this, this feature in the game that reflects that, and mm -hmm. uh, uh, it, it just highlights all the things you need to see. You can track animals with that as well. You can track people if you wound somebody. Oh. I yes. find that in the game, I guess because, oh my god, you're nice. just destroying these people. Yeah. <laughs> because we're dealing with kind of Stone Age men who is making all of their equipment from what was around them, I find it so oh hard no. to spot these guys. Because they're so well kind of camouflaged. Yeah, I know what you mean, right? They, aren't, they, they, they don't have a bright uh, uh, red or uh, uh, like they're not really flashy in the, in the colors or you don't see a vehicle with headlights coming yeah. up at you. Yeah. And you just set him, set him on fire. Well done. That's one way to see him. <laughs> so yeah, several approaches to this mission. Yeah, someone in the chat noticed that animals don't always die straight on. Yeah. And they don't. I mean, unless you kind of really land a critical headshot, um, they don't die. And so you can use your hunter vision to kind of chase after them. Yeah, exactly. That's where the blood becomes important. And the, ah, there Aww. we go. Okay, so we found Sorry, the totem. Bud. Found Poor it. guy. Yeah, he probably fell from oh. there or something like that. Nice. This is a kind of cool kind of cave painting. Yeah, I noticed that. Huh? It, it's a, it's a, uh, it's a. If you see that, right there. So what's cool? You see that? Uh, it's an indication. If you look up, oh. there's a grappling. Oh. Hook. <laughs> so it's okay. literally you, to kind of tell you, you that. Gives you a little clue that hence. you've got something up above that can help you climb. Okay. Someone did ask, is there a grappling hook? Yes. But there you go. Grappling claw. Oh, oh see, there's another claw. one. And if yeah. we look up, bingo. <laughs> yeah, I didn't even go. notice. Good eye, Kevin. Good yeah, eye. There you go. Yeah. Okay. You've still got some Udam, I think, uh, yeah. Yeah. roaming yeah. around yeah. after you. We actually have a winner from the last uh, the giveaway. giveaway. Yeah. So it's Ma Pilgrim. Nice. That one's my easy pilgrim. to understand. Uh, to, uh, to <laughs> yeah, pronounce. My pilgrim. Congratulations to you. Yay, congratulations. The Twitch moderators will, you know, get in touch and ask you where you need the t-shirt and the hoodie to be delivered. <laughs> where is that? Looks like some bad stuff is going down uh -oh. over here. Uh-oh. <laughs> what is this? So this is what I love about this game. It's like, you know, there's there's so many more animals. Uh, so it, you, like you get your threats from everywhere. You get them mm. from the animals, you get them from the uh, from the uh, enemy tribes, it, uh, it it really hits on that primal sense of mm. anything and everywhere. everything can kill me yeah. at any time, <laughs> or can great de job deke past you. <laughs> <laughs> and we've placed. The uh, there we go. What and a beautiful like totem! It is. You've nice. done well, JJ. Thanks. Ooh, good job. Oh, yeah. oh nice. Go. One last jump. Congrats. That looked a lot shallower, a lot more shallow <laughs> than it actually was. I thought, oh, yeah, no, that's right. not a good move, pal. <laughs> no, congrats. We kind of wander around. Give us a, a nice view of this. Scenery? Sure. Yeah. Well, yeah. Matthias loves his scenery. I do. So look, look to the, look to the, right up there. So you can see one thing that's cool. This is the Stone Age, and it's, it's uh, um, after uh, the Ice Age. I was going to well say, is after that a glacier? The Ice Age. But still, yeah, exactly. The glaciers uh, uh, in the game are, are massive, like we like we mm. certainly never see on Earth now, and that's just a reflection of uh, the ice age that uh, receded really cool. out of uh, Oros. 
Right. Yeah. There's some beautiful vistas that show yeah. off just that sort of stuff. Yeah. Nice. The trees too. Untouched you'll notice, by man. Untouched by man. You get that feeling when you're going through here because the trees are so massive. Mm. Like even from here, looking at that one way over, oh, yeah. you know, we're far that's from huge. it, but you can see how big it is. Yeah. I think that's one of the things that kind of you have a hard time understanding unless you're playing the game is how much bigger everything is. Yeah. yeah. Like yeah, everything from the, the plant life, the trees, to the animals as well. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Yeah, like even the wolves, large. you get a good sense that, wow, these are, these are big wolves. I feel bad. There's, like, there's a lot of good questions in the chat, yeah. but it's a lot of stuff that I'm like, I don't want to spoil it. <laughs> I don't want to spoil this for you. But it's a good transition. Should we move to the, uh, the, the, ne the next question segment? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, let's get some, uh, let's get some questions Some questions going. from the chat? Absolutely. Um, so, we've seen it a lot in the chat, and we saw it in the when we asked people to ask us questions on social. Um, will there be a story, and can you tell us a bit about it? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. There is a story in the game, uh, absolutely. Uh, you play as uh, Takar, and Takar is a um, uh, he's a hunter. He's the last surviving hunter uh, of his party, and they have been leaving a, a barren uh, land and heading towards Oros. And y the game takes place in the land of Oros. And uh, he's going there to meet more Wenja. He's part of the Wenja tribe, and he wants to meet more Wenja uh, uh, to reunite with his people. When he arrives in Oros, he finds that the, the Wenja have all been scattered uh, across the oh. oh. <laughs> world. Oh! You were saying? No, I'm distracted. Oh, <laughs> JJ. <laughs> Oh, well JJ. done. Well done. If you'd used your hunter vision, you would have seen him. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, uh, so you arrive in uh, the land of Oros, and you find that the Wenja uh, have been scattered. They're not really a united tribe. So mm -hmm. uh, uh, they've been uh, um, attacked by rival tribes who are mm -hmm. fighting for resources. So your job is to, you know, uh, try to uh, uh, reunite those people, f fight off the many predators that you're going to come across, yes, we have seen. Uh, as we've seen, and the Udam and other tribes, and uh, ultimately become the apex predator uh, in, okay. the, uh, in the world of Oros. Awesome. That kind of is a, a little high level uh, of the story. Yep. And, uh, Man, these guys are just going for a walk. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm sure they are. Yeah, they don't yeah. even see you. Oh, oh. oh. wait, USA. Oh, dang, cold. that's cold. He wasn't a warrior. No. <laughs> she was startled by an animal. Dang it, JJ. Okay. All right. Should we take it uh, to the questions that we listed from the fans? Yes. So, oh, yeah, yes. Uh, we just went over a bit of the story questions. Yes. Um, so, obviously, people who saw the trailer, yeah. people who are listening to the game right now. Mm -mm. That's not English. It's mm, not English. No, it's not. No, definitely not. So that was a uh, that <laughs> was a, something we thought about um, when we were starting the game. We were looking, okay, 10,000 BC, Stone Age, the, Mes uh, the Mesolithic period. There was no English. There was no there was no uh, l any modern language. Any mm. of the modern languages that we have, they they, ju they just weren't around. So and we thought, well, do you know, do we want to use that anyway? And we really felt like we want to make this game immersive. It's, it's immersive in terms of the art, in terms of the world, the animals you see. It should that should be reflected in the language. So we decided, okay, we're going to go and we're going to uh, create a new language. And we didn't just arbitrarily make it up. What we did was we looked at, uh, well, what do we know of the languages that were on there? There's no written history, but they do know that they spoke a version of what's called Proto-Indo-European. Mm -hmm. um, Fancy. Proto-Indo-European. Nice <laughs> and they, they call it Pi for short. There you Fantastic. Go. Okay. Fantastic. So, uh, so we decided, okay, well, let's base our languages off of that. Uh, I am certainly no Pi expert, so we, <laughs> we went to the... Uh, we, we brought some uh, linguists with us, mm -hmm. and they helped us uh, uh, figure this out. So it's Andrew Bird and Brenna Bird. They're, they're uh, linguists whose specialty is uh, Proto-Indo-European. Mm -hmm. And uh, JJ, and I think you need to get out of here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's distracted now. And uh, uh, so what we did was we brought them on, and they helped us uh, craft oh. the language. And not only just, we didn't do just one language. So the Winja speak a, a language. 
the Udam also speak their own language, uh, which they just call uh, Udam. Mm. And uh, it's a version of Winja. Okay. And then we have another like tribe. Accent. What's that? Like an accent of Winja. Accent is a little more simple, a little more because <laughs> they're a more simple tribe. They're a more okay. monosyllabic sort of tribe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then we had a, have a third uh, tribe that uh, JC was mentioning called the Izila. Mm. And they're a little more advanced, and they also speak yet another language in the game. Uh, so you're going to hear those throughout. You've been hearing them here yeah. uh, in the in the game. Uh, oh, look at that. See? Oh, the scenery. See? Look at it. Oh, the, this beautiful. Vista. The glaciers are fantastic. I love it. Yeah. And people have asked, can you kind of turn off the mini map, uh, mini map in the HUD? And like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you, yeah, can. Yeah, yeah. you can. You said you played that way, right? Yes. Yeah. You can I haven't played that way. It can was show this? Mm. deadly. Yeah. No, but actually you can. We're not going to show it now, but you can deactivate all the HUD and like just play it uh, like with without, any, vision. without any indications, which is, you know, pretty difficult and hardcore to play it, but you can. No, it's actually cool. possible. Yeah, once you lose that, like, little targeting dot, throwing that spear is just throwing and praying. Yes. <laughs> yes, it is. Okay. Yeah, no, I would not be good in any of that. <laughs> I need my HUD. <laughs> um, and I think, because kind of people asked if... Um, if they think they're going to have to read subtitles. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, uh, well, as you saw here, you've been hearing Wenja, and there's, there's no subtitles. In the open world, we, we uh, didn't include subtitles because that just becomes too busy. It's, it's too much to try and, try and watch and play at the same time. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, when you're getting missions, for sure, we, we, we do want you to understand what's going on. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, the, the missions, uh, uh, when you're meeting new characters... Those moments were g are going to be subtitled. Mm -hmm. and, but what's interesting, what, what, what we found is as we're playing, um, it's the, the language, there's a real logic to it. It really makes sense. And so as you're playing, we found that you're actually able to start recognizing some terms and picking up things. And so I think it's going to be cool. I think fans will be, uh, you know, they'll be able to understand a lot more of the language than uh, oh. maybe they might expect that they'll be able to. There's always a turtle. There's always or a tortoise, I guess. Leave <laughs> them alone, JJ. <laughs> <laughs> what have they done don't, to you? Don't hassle those. And there was a question in the chat from Dosaurus. Can the crocodile move? What's that? Yes. Uh, there was a question in the chat. Can the crocodile move? Oh, yeah. And oh, they thought it was just a it. stationary yeah, yeah, crocodile? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you, yeah, yeah. they must have come in late. They just missed uh, JJ almost getting... Uh, oh. oh, no. JJ, get out of there. Get out of there, JJ. <laughs> Go in the water. You're going to die. You're going to die. No, it's good. Okay. See, one, of the, one of the animal behaviors that uh, we kind of didn't know about when I was playing through the game was uh -oh. that, oh, jeez. Oh, oh, no. Oh, oh, no. Bite no. Fish. no, you're going to die. Bite fish sounds like a oh, no, real okay. kind of wenja. Just a cuddly little fish. Yeah. It's a bite fish. It was a, it's a good transition to another question that some fans had. Uh, what what um, type of animals would be in this game? And we saw. Yeah, so we've seen versions. a whole bunch. Uh, it was fun doing the, uh, you know, the, the prehistoric uh, period because <gasps> we were able to... Uh, no, you're dead. Uh, uh, we were able JJ to introduce... JJ Noob. Oh. <laughs> Get back. Oh. 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 This is going to follow you everywhere. Yeah. yeah, I know. It's actually a good moment because we wanted to focus on the questions and won't just disturb you. So it's, uh, <laughs> Do you actually think like maybe JJ can reload the first outpost just because if people tuned in late, oh, like yeah. it may be cool to kind of see. That's a good idea. Yeah, right yeah. now with Kevin, where we were playing through in the open world, it was more um, more Udam territory. Yeah. Yes. Whereas the outpost we that we were playing Zira. earlier in the stream, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because we started with this outpost at the beginning of the stream. Maybe bring in, um, you know, go in stealth oh, with, yeah, okay, uh, yeah, with yeah. the cat. Oh yeah, the the jaguar. Yeah, yeah. Just because yeah. it went so well. The first time. <laughs> 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 no, absolutely. Yeah, and, beautiful. Uh, no, no, no. It's uh, it's definitely a good uh, a good idea. Now you were asking me about the uh, the uh, different types of the animals. animals. Yeah. Yep. So we, there's, there's loads of animals, um, and what's cool is we got a lot of prehistoric animals. No dinosaurs. Yeah. Because that was millions of years before uh, our game. Sixty-six million years. There you go. Thank before you. your game. And uh, <laughs> but what we do, <laughs> but what we do have. Uh, some of the prehistoric animals we do have are the uh, the Irish elk with mm -hmm. the massive with antlers. The antlers. Yep. Megaloceros. Uh, Megaloceros. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we've got the saber tooth, as we saw uh, JJ was killed by. Yep. The, the I love that JJ sticking. Yeah, I know. I know. He's gonna leave I, here with this what, nickname. What was his name originally? <laughs> Doesn't matter. I it's JJ. <laughs> Just JJ. I don't even know. Just JJ. <laughs> 
and you got the mammoth, of course. And oh, one, you know, one, uh, you've seen the 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 woolly rhino. Have you guys seen the two horned rhino? No. Ah, uh, nope. uh, that's a cool one. So that's that's one of the rare rhinos that you can find, <gasps> and it's based on a you know a prehistoric. There was a a, a real two horned rhino. Just had this horn it, that comes just like that. Oh wow, that's weird. Oh, it's amazing. Okay. I've never actually I, encountered the woolly rhino in game. I only saw ah. it in the uh, walkthrough gameplay video. Okay. So I know they're out there. Yeah, they're nice. out there. And I hope they never find me. <laughs> <laughs> but then you have to find them if you want to find the two horn rhino. Uh, Come on. Yeah. You'll do it. Come this on. This seems hard. <laughs> <laughs> and we can actually already, switch yeah. to, uh, to gameplay now. So in front of, uh, we are uh, currently in front of the, the first outpost that we were showing yeah. at the beginning of the stream. So yeah, so this is in an Azila uh, camp, which is uh, more to the south of uh, of Oros. Mm -hmm. And for those, if, if you just saw um, <laughs> JJ, <laughs> this <laughs> <laughs> he's actually uh, pretty advanced, yes. kind of in the game. So he's got all those. You don't start with all those animals. You have to find them. Yes. And so you've got kind of uh, regular versions. And yeah. then you've got rare. Ver oh, oh so cute. isn't it funny how you know you don't need to do that, but it's yeah. it's, it's addictive. You just yes. want to pet your animal all the time. Oh, hello. There you are. What, now there's one cool thing about. Oh, uh, nice. Notice the cat there. Yeah. Have a look at the cat. When you when you crouch yourself, the cat does the same. It'll it'll start moving in. Uh, yeah, uh, very uh, close to the ground. Very predatory cat uh, mode. Way. Yeah. Like our cats at home do when they're trying to catch My, my cat at home is useless. <laughs> yeah, we yeah, cats, cat. I want every segment to have cat talk. Uh, I would love like to yeah, always be talk. talking about your cats. No, yeah. No. I kind of want to know more about your useless cat now. Like that's well, my cat. Those okay, are so strong I words. Yeah. I got a cat, and and I, uh, you know, I've had the cat since a kitten, and I've got two kids, and they love cats. Does this cat want to play with them? No. <laughs> of course not. Cat has one job: play with my children. And the cat does not want to play with my children. <laughs> oh, no. Has it ever attacked it's them? <laughs> no, no. It just <laughs> okay. runs in fear all the time. Not just my kids, anybody, but it's really, it's really annoying. <laughs> so we just have a question from Sky Valentine. <laughs> Will Ari be getting stuck in trees in this game? The answer is yes. Oh, nice. The bigger the tree, the greater the chance that I'm going to get stuck in it. <laughs> And no one wants to talk about megaflora. Everyone's Ooh. so on this megafauna, like, oh, crazy giant animals. It's, it's mm -hmm. more fun to say. But look at these say. trees. They're massive. Yeah, yeah but megafauna is fun to say. Fine. Whatever. Yes. <laughs> the trees are big, though. I do like that. Yeah. Let's be over here. These big trees. Oh, it's interesting. What are they reacting to? I missed that. Uh, oh, it's your it's your cat, out. right? Did no, you know there was a something else? Is there? No, there was a something bear. attacked. A bear attacked the camp. Saw a bear, yeah. Just randomly, or oh. did you? Yes. <laughs> oh. This bear came out of nowhere. Bear out of nowhere. Hmm. Sorry, I really like RKO memes. <laughs> I'm gonna continue to. Oh no! You just give it an order to attack the uh, yep. the sentry. Are we in dusk? I don't think it has been spotted. Is this either. dusk? Or is it dawn? I wasn't paying attention. Um, uh, night's, night's coming. Night's, night's coming. coming? Yeah. Okay. Night's coming, JJ. This is not a stealth one. No. So no. far, undetected. Well, is for, all, for all they yeah. know, they, they, they're just... Uh, well, they're, they're just in full It's chaos. true. Yeah. Uh-oh, so uh-oh, uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Okay. there it is. There it is. Yeah. But just before, it was uh -oh. like, yeah, normal, you know, Jaguar Yo, showing up in the world. fire takedown. I, you know what? i got to say, I do love that these... Uh, you've got these camps that are set up with wheat everywhere. <laughs> so they're so great to just set on fire and <laughs> the whole place just goes goes oh, up. It looks fantastic. Nice. That was so adorable. That was the, the healing animation. Yeah, right? it's yeah, really cool. Cat's that's gotta eat. Yep. <laughs> Cat's and gotta play, eat. play with kids. Oh. That was a beautiful really cat nice takedown. Take yeah. And now you can see how the night changes the, yeah. the lighting completely. Mm -hmm. Really nice. It gives them a haunting look, right? When you can see them with the, the fire at night. You know? Yeah. Well, I think that one of the things, because there's no kind of big radio tower that you can climb up and look at, you yeah. need to have visual cues in the distance to know where you are. Like earlier, when you were pointing at the glacier, yeah. you know that that's north. Yeah, exactly. If you continue yeah. that way. And people were asking, like, can you go up there? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. There's, a, there's the snowy north region you can You go see through. a bit of it. That's where actually the, the Udam yep. end up. Uh, uh, they're from the north. Yeah. So they're from the north from and the Azula are more from the... More from the south. Southeast. Yep. Which is a bit more of a swampy uh, area. Mm -hmm. 
No, Marsha. Oh, no save. <laughs> Your beast. Cat save. Yeah. Oh, it's really impressive. And it's really nice to see, like, you know, the different kind of weapons that you can set on fire. Your beast, your melee weapons. Oh, but it's just, they just killed it. Someone in the chat is like, Knight is too light. I'm like, that's because everything There's is fire. on yeah. fire. There's fire There's everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> and the Azila, that's the thing with the Azila. You'll see the Azila have a lot more fire than the Udam, mm -hmm. because the, the, that's their... That's their weapon. That's their thing. Is uh, they they terrify people with fire. Oh, poison I think you bomb. got affected there, bud. <laughs> he wants so to heal his beast. Save my cat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just want to save it's my back. cat. It's back. Yeah, that's what's cool. When your cat gets uh, uh, injured, it doesn't die right away, but you've got an opportunity to get in there and try and revive the cat or whatever, whatever beast you've got with you. Yeah, someone was asking in the chat if your tamed animal can die, and yeah, it oh, can. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Of course. But you can, as JC was explaining, uh, you can resurrect it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. With healing resurrection. <laughs> oh. Oh. One, of, oh my God. one of my favorite comments in the chat is, can you guys stop talking? Because we want to hear the game. <laughs> Stop talking. And I'm like, all right, if you guys just want us to sit here quietly, I mean, we can do <laughs> yeah. that. That's your jam. Nice dodging. I think so it's pretty it's empty now. now. We've got a bear in a cage. And if <laughs> I've learned anything, it's you better let that bear out. <laughs> else it will haunt you. A little 1v1 combat. Those chieftains are oh, badass. Yeah. yeah, they're super strong. I like the double arrow bow. Ooh. Nice dodging. Good job, Sephora. Nice. <laughs> yes. Yay, beauty. My favorite oh, is the spear. Really? Yeah, that's yes. Really yeah. Oh, no. It's Don't really good for that's fine. For kind of close quarters melee. I, and I, I, I agree with you there. When you're in yes. close, it's really nice to... And we can go back to the main cam now. Nice. I do oh, like the really outpost cool. animation. Yes, it is. Good job, JJ. <laughs> Good job, <laughs> JJ. It's your name. It's your name. It's the no name one. your yeah. parents gave you. Yeah, the whole floor is watching, so uh, yeah. I hope I'm they are. Screwed. Uh oh. <laughs> no, I hope That's that you fine. go back to your desk. It's like JJ Noob. <laughs> JJ. <laughs> JJ. Uh, and it's actually maybe a good timing for a third and last giveaway. Oh, okay. Right. Maybe okay. What is it again? <laughs> what is it again? <laughs> do you really want me to? You really want me to? Okay. Okay. No, no, no. So uh, the it. moderation team is gonna start the raffle in a in a few minutes. But basically, you can win one T-shirt, which looks like this. Oh, with Beautiful. a saber tooth skull and it's, uh, from UB Workshop. I was gonna say who who made Who's that T-shirt. <laughs> I don't know. It's just funny. You should have committed them ourselves. So yeah, you can uh, you can buy it on the EV Workshop, and you're winning. You can win this hoodie as well, any size, uh, worldwide. You, you gotta zip it up. It looks. Yeah, looks yeah, of course. Yeah. Do, 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 do the whole thing. Do the whole thing. You can't only have done is, it for. Ah. There you go. So you've got in the front these two really cool antlers. Megaloceros. Megaloceros antlers. And in the back, the logo. Megaloceros sounds like one of those mythical beasts, like a chimera or like a minotaur. Yes. No, so minotaur. Yeah. You say minotaur. What do you say? Minotaur. I say minotaur. Is that a is that minotaur, like a, is that a thing? Is that a Let's Canadian American thing? thing? Are you American? <laughs> no. <laughs> well, I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, don't know. the raffle is open. You can win this hoodie and this t-shirt. You know, the winners will be announced uh, soon. And if you have any questions um, that we can direct to Kevin. And Don't for hesitate. the third and final time, I'll remind those of you watching on YouTube, I'm yes. so sorry, but the raffle is only available to the people in the um, Twitch chat. Yeah. Yeah. Do I say sorry like a Canadian? I don't know. Sorry. A little bit. Sorry. A little sorry. Bit. Americans say sorry. Is that how they say it? Because mm -hmm. they always call me out on it. And I'm like, well, what do you say? Sorry. 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 No, you don't say sorry. 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 <laughs> sorry. <laughs> so any Americans in the chat, tell me how you say sorry. <laughs> um, right, how you pronounce sorry. <laughs> I do like, uh, before we went into the raffle mega yeah. chat thing, uh, someone did want to observe a moment of silence oh. for your cat. For the cat, yeah. So um, I try my best. R.I.P. Black Jaguar. <laughs> did you give him a name? Well, the bear was plan B, so I guess it's plan C. I don't know. 
Doesn't that have the same ring. Is very does. boring. Oh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> we'll find something. Fantastic. Uh, and uh, actually, uh, Dan Hay, when he plays, he called him Finnegan. 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 Yeah. Okay. Well, if Dan Hay calls well, him Finnegan, I guess that's yes, what. That's, 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 the, the, name. that's the rule. Piece of information. <laughs> Thank you. If Dan Hay names something, that's its name. Yeah, that's a, its official from name from now. Um, and just as a reminder, uh, if you like what you're seeing, uh, if you like the stream, if you like the content, we've put um, a little survey online uh, where you can tell us, you know, if you enjoyed it. Uh, you can, there will be the, the command in the Twitch chat and you just fill it out and it will help us to do better streams next time. So thanks in advance. And yeah, we're just waiting for the raffle. Oh, there was a question. I do like that people are actually saying how they write, how they say sorry. Yeah. Oh, how are they we saying it? Someone there's there's said, a lot. There's a lot of we variation. Say it like sorry. Sorry. <laughs> well, and then they had some UK people with, you know, the phonetic spelling so of how they sorry. would say it and Yeah. Sorry. Oh, and also we in the chat we should have links to the fan kits so you guys can download all the cool wallpapers and sorry. avatars. Absolutely. So uh, sorry. 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 There you go. Thanks, Americans. Yep. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, we're going to have links to the fan kit so you can download all the wallpapers yep. and avatars that we made for all your devices. Mm -hmm. um, you've got Naomi's concept art, which you can download yep. in... Um, Isn't that mammoth one just incredible? Yes, yeah. the first one. It's nuts that that was the first thing. that it's, Like, it's, they came to her and said, we have an idea for a game. Can you draw it? <laughs> and she went, okay. Yeah, of course. There you go. <laughs> can do. Easy peasy. Just make yeah. it up. It's amazing. Just, I love that picture. That's it. Such time. And as ever, if you guys have fan art that you want to share with us, if you have anything, uh, you can hit us up on all of our social channels. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to list them because, come on. No, do list them. Um, <laughs> someone's like, forget the fan kit. Give me the game. February 23rd on console. Yes. You will have the game. Absolutely. If we had it now, we'd give it to you now. That's not how this works. Can I just say, I really love oh, yeah. that... Uh, skull up there, it's it's impressive. That uh, I'm glad you guys got that because it's yeah, uh, it's really it's really cool. Should I uh, should I take it down? What is no, our production No, I team fear saying? that if you take it down, that's it's going to be that's destroyed. That's the exciting part. Will it, will I break it or not? <laughs> oh, now he okay. has to take it. Down. I'm just going to put it on the table. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. I just need to be super careful because it's There's very things. very heavy. No, I see this going wrong. Yeah, yeah. it's fine. It's fine. Famous okay. last words. Unfortunately, <laughs> this isn't it's like fine. an it's actual saber tooth skull because skull. we can't afford that and it belongs in a museum. Yeah, that, that would not go over <laughs> well. <laughs> there you go. Oops. Belongs in a sorry. museum. <laughs> nice impersonation. That's fantastic. It's really cool, isn't it? Can you make it talk? Like, yep. <laughs> <laughs> fantastic. Yeah, we yes. can. Yes, we Great. can. And that, it, now that, that's not to scale. Is that to I think it's that's no, to, it scale? to scale. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool. That's the actual size, I think so. Can what you see it? if you can fit your head in? <laughs> no, nope. okay. Break my hand, All right. my hand, I can't. My head, I don't All think right. I can. But it's interesting because what we learned in, in that museum when we went with the fans is that you can, like, the jaw, the lower jaw, can open like super, super big, like more than. Oh, like um, a snake's kind of thing. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. And that's how it attacked like bigger animals ah. at the time. But it's impressive. It's really like a, like super big. That's pretty terrifying. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Putting it back on the table. Hopefully not breaking anything. Oh, there? Yep. Thank you. Awesome. There you go. So we're still waiting on the winner of our third and oh, final yeah. raffle. Yeah. In the meantime, you can answer the survey. <laughs> winner is coming soon, <laughs> says is coming soon as well. Off Screen Sansan. Yes. Thank, Thank you, Thank you, Screen Sansan. You rock. <laughs> um, um, yep. Go ahead. Well, I was just going to uh, see if there's anything... Oh, sorry. We have a winner. Ah. Let's see if How I can print. Uh, oh, come on. Oh, man. <laughs> Corvus Plecto. Not that difficult. Corvus Plecto. Not so bad. Yeah. Sounds nice when you Good say it. Corvus Plecto. Corvus Plecto. No, Corvus Plecto. Sounds like a magician. You know? And now, well, anyways, <laughs> Corvus Plecto, <laughs> you won this hoodie. Uh, you will choose your size, obviously. And the moderation team will you know, get in touch with you uh, to find out where we can deliver it. And this t-shirt. This t-shirt. Beautiful. Made we get both? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a bundle. Oh, it's like hoodie was, plus okay. t-shirts nice. for those three winners. So congratulations to you. Um, now, should we mention maybe to close things up the uh, the collector's edition? Eh, why not? Why not? <laughs> <laughs> eh. 
the living. So we have two versions to show you. The first one is the US Deluxe Edition. Yep, so um, this is if you want to pre-order the Deluxe Edition, you get a bunch of in-game skins, different weapon skins, different animal skins, and of course you get access to the Be the Mammoth Mission. Be the nice. Mammoth Mission! Where you get to be the mammoth. Where you are yeah. the mammoth. Of course. Nice. Aptly named. <laughs> <laughs> so Kevin, what is the story of this mammoth? You <laughs> are a mammoth. <laughs> awesome. And in the European version, uh, you get the same thing and um, a Lewenja lexicon that teaches you how to speak Lewenja. Yes, the Lewenja lexicon. Remember I was saying how you could uh, um, you can pick up the game, the language in the game? Mm -hmm. um, with that thing, you can go even deeper. Yeah. And uh, it's, it's in-depth enough that you could actually start having many conversations oh. with your friends. And maybe even like understand what they say in the yeah. game? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Impressive, yeah. impressive. And mm -hmm. I do want to give a little uh, little hint, a little yep. nod, that obviously you guys have a bunch of questions yes. that we can't answer just yet, mm -mm. either because they spoil the game for you later on or because we're about to talk about them. So I think you guys should stay tuned to Far Cry channels next week because I think we're going to be talking about some fun stuff. Yep. And if you want to, like the, these uh, pre-order versions that we just showed, you can uh, buy them now, of course. Uh, and you just type, I think it's exclamation mark um, collector. So you will see it in the chat, in Twitch. And it just tells you like uh, the, the link to, uh, to buy it if you want to. Very cool. Yeah. And I think that we've got a bit of time left. And I'm wondering if maybe um, JJ wants to take us back into the world of Oros. Sure thing. And just see if there's uh, amongst, any more mischief he can manage. Amongst the deads? Yep. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Take it away. The burnt out carnage oh, with the no. dead. So that's after you attack? Yeah. OK. Obviously, now uh, it's mine. <laughs> <laughs> right? Obviously. Great. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh, wow. Let Amazing. the bear out of the cage. Oh, oh, the bear's still oh yeah, in the you cage? forgot to free him. Oh, wow, oh. I, I thought he got up. Like, he don't he will don't make the, the same he mistake he I made. That. But again, he, he will have to fight it once it's well, out. What, what, can't he Maybe just not. run away? Mm, I don't know. Can All you right, do it from afar? Because can you jump from, like on top? Oh, you're going to try to tame it. Good job. That's smart. Oh, oh. oh yes. there we go. Okay. Yes. Oh. okay. <laughs> Ooh, nice. not happy. Good job. Oh, nice. Well done, JJ. I like that you don't always know if the taming is going to work. Sometimes it just might I, yeah, not I thought, work. Yeah, I thought that was going to be a... <laughs> Man, ride that bear. Hey, where'd that guy come from? Oh, that's Wenja. Sorry, it's Wenja. I thought it was another Azila. They're mad now. Because of the bear? I don't know. Mm, uh, maybe there was another. I think, they were, I think they were going to attack the, uh, the bear. Get out of there, man. Get out of there. No, no, those guys are Wenja. They're not going to hurt you. You never know. I've become very wary. <laughs> oh, no. oh, Can yeah. you jump off a cliff with your bear? Do it, do it, do it, do it. Not well. Mm, do it. Just do it. Do it. Just do it. What's the worst no. thing that could happen? Oh. That's. All right. Are you? Oh, thanks. Oh, yeah. oh, thanks, buddy. oh yeah. no. That didn't work. Thanks. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Sorry. He saved your life. But I'm safe. And that's yes. Just, that's what the bear wasn't He'll built for that you. level of. Uh, <laughs> Oh, is that your shadow? Oh, yeah, that's your shadow. Isn't no, that great? No, oh, no, that's oh, the no. shadow of someone else. above. <laughs> oh, that little sad bear icon. <laughs> Sorry, bud. Yeah. That, that's on us. That's on us. Uh, it happens. Okay. Someone in the chat's like, you're not giving me copies of the game? It's not out yet. <laughs> 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 and as you can see, kind of at the top right-hand corner there, this is pre-release beta version. We're yes. not... We don't even have a final copy. Mm -mm. It's so beautiful. <laughs> it is. Like, I sometimes just get lost staring at this. Like you say, the trees are just spectacular. Yeah. Everything about Thank it. Thank you. It's beautiful. Yeah, we could just take beautiful. a moment to talk about these trees. Yeah. yeah. Mega flora. <laughs> they're, super, they're super large, too, because they're so. High. Someone has RIP bear <laughs> 1950 to 1951. <laughs> oh, and ba barely That's made really it. Cool. I like barely this. made it. Barely awesome. made it. You get only this stuff on Twitch chat. You guys rock. <laughs> That's what beautiful. Is, what is that on your, on your, on your left? Left, left, left. What is that? This? Oh, it's a monkey. Yeah. Oh. Attacked by a panther. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Mm, Can you're you too busy to looking at the monkey. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Yes. 
Nailed it. Pet it. Yes. Of course. <laughs> Aww. They are. <laughs> Thanks in part to the beautiful illustrators and concept artists like Naomi. Yeah, indeed. Yeah, absolutely. So thank you. <laughs> moment of sounds for the bear. The end, then, uh... Let's have a moment of sounds for the bear and for the jaguar. So if you noticed in your um, animal wheel, <laughs> the two animals that were dead are dead. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's see, open that up again. Yeah. Into... But you can revive them. From yes. well, wait a minute. What is this? What's this nonsense? <laughs> What's this nonsense you're bringing what are you here? Doing? <laughs> Whoa! Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so that's oh, a lesson. <laughs> yeah. Even your tamed badger is not your friend. <laughs> it's like your pet cat. <laughs> it's like my cat. It's, like your it's cat. exactly like they put my cat in the game. <laughs> Oh no. Oh my god. Yeah. Can't believe that you've got this little guy with you. <laughs> uh oh. Oh yeah, there you go. Who's that up there? Oh, oh, Zila. Get him. Oh no! They're already being got. Okay. God, I He's love the animation victory. on that badger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Look at that waterfall. You think he can make it? Nice. Man, that's it's so cute. What's... No, <laughs> honey badger wreaking havoc. Oh, cares. Yeah, these animals want <laughs> nothing to do with the badger. <laughs> that's so cute. And I can tell you, it is very, 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 very hard to tame. Mm -mm. So good on you, JJ. Yeah. Good You're back to elite. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yes. And that's the perfect transition. <laughs> Excel dogs like, thanks, UB. Now I'm going to go into the Wiz and tame a bear. Now I know how. <laughs> I guess we should have a disclaimer. Don't do that. Oh, but secretly, I want to be like, do it. <laughs> Get that bear. So yeah, I guess we should wrap up. Yeah. We're getting close to the end. Thank you so much for sticking with us, everyone. Um, we hope you liked what you saw. We yeah. showed you a bunch of stuff that no one's seen yet. So Don't forget to fill out the survey to let us know how we can improve it even more. <laughs> Only if you have time. positive things to say. Yeah. I don't want no garbage. <laughs> no. We want to listen to every feedback. So yeah. I'm going to fill out the survey and say... <laughs> Only good... Yeah. More JJ. <laughs> more, more JJ. JJ. <laughs> more JJ. Bears, more JJ. More JJ. So yeah. Thanks a lot for, you know, attending to be with us. Oh, All the devs. Fun. Naomi, yeah, Kevin, JC. Thanks, JJ. 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 Thanks for the new name. <laughs> Andrew. In the production. I know Sen all the people behind the scenes. Antoine, camera, you guys rock. The moderation team in the chat that you've seen um, behind, the, <laughs> behind the scenes. Uh, I really, I loved seeing our old friends in the yes. chat again. Um, some shitty people, yep. but mostly good. <laughs> mostly good. <laughs> I was wondering how long I could go without swearing, and the answer was almost the whole way <laughs> almost, through. I almost, almost made it through. And thanks to the dev team for this awesome game. Yes, and so it comes out February 23rd on consoles yep. and March 1st First? On, <laughs> on PC. Yep. And you've got and links the to the specs. Deluxe yep. and the Collector's Edition. We've released the PC specs today. Um, again, if you wanted to know about game localization, the game isn't in a recognizable language. Yep. Exactly. So it's going to be subtitled in, um, in your language. 18 languages. Mm -hmm. yeah. yep. So either use subtitles or... Ah. Try and learn a Without new language, a base language version. at that. So yep. if you understand that, maybe you can actually kind of understand the Germanic languages. Yeah, mm -hmm. you'll just learn Winja and you'll know every language there is on Earth. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. Yes. That's how it works. So no HUD, no subtitles. That's the uh, no HUD, no subtitles. Hardcore. That's that's going to be the challenge. the challenge. That yep. is the challenge. And no HUD, tell no everyone subtitles. what happened and what they all said. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Fantastic. Well, Thanks, so everyone. thank you again, everybody. Uh, congratulations to our winners. Yeah. Thank you for joining, and I guess we'll see you soon. And as I mentioned, maybe keep an eye out for next week. Maybe something interesting will be coming out that will mm -hmm. teach you more about aspects of the game that we purposefully didn't talk about. <laughs> -ching -ching. Think about that. Such a tease. So <laughs> I will leave you on this, as our senior producer, Vincent Pombrian, likes to say. Stay primal. We'll see you next time, guys. Stay primal, guys. My march.
Chassar, Winjamana, Ulaikwa, Shuta, Marita! <laughs> Hello everyone, I'm JC, I'm the creative director on Far Cry Primal, and I'm here today with uh, Max. Hi, I'm creative director at Ubisoft Toronto. We're working in partnership with Ubisoft Montreal on Far Cry Primal, and today we're showcasing a couple of the new features we've been building for the game. So what we saw at the beginning of the video uh, is actually early on in the game, uh, Ul is the uh, Udam uh, war chief. And uh, with his, uh, his uh, tribe, they're attacking your village. And so now we're uh, trying to make our way to their homeland in order to uh, retaliate. Uh, and it's the occasion to start uh, exploring the majestic world of Oros. The Stone Age is a, a time when man was not at the top of the food chain. And uh, basically our hero Takar will have to make its way from the bottom to the uh, top of this food chain. Speaking of, here's a mammoth. I don't think we're ready to hunt the mammoth yet. <laughs> No, we're not ready yet, uh, but there's a, a few ways we can uh, improve this situation. If you see, there's a dead goat on the ground, so that means there's a, a predator nearby. And in previous games, the uh, predators were only danger. This time around, they're even more savage, but uh, since Takar is the beast master, he can also use it as an opportunity. So he's able to tame all the wild predators of, uh, of Oros. So we have a wolf in front of us, uh, let's try and tame it. And then, oh. All right, let's throw the bait on the ground. Let's do that. That's gonna calm it. And then we're gonna tame it. There you go. So cool. So now we have a beast, we have a dire wolf. It's an amazing beast. And one of the ways we can use it uh, in the world of Oros is uh, through hunting. Hunting is a super important part of your experience uh, in Oros. And it's a good way of getting resources that you need for your uh, upgrade. And send your beast, it's super easy, you just point, send your beast over to it. Oh. <laughs> Not that time. That's open world, my friend. Yep, so everything is systemic, but we'll find another prey. Something big here, we find a yak. So yak is a big prey, but uh, these wolves are dire wolves, so they're quite huge themselves. And, uh, so he starts chasing, uh, he's got it by the tail. By the throat, thanks to take down. Good boy! Perfect, time for a reward maybe? There you go, you can feed your beast, it's also the way uh, of healing them. We just uh, killed the yak, it's the opportunity to get resources from it, which will enable us to upgrade, so let's see what we can upgrade. There's a lot of way of uh, hunting, uh, traps, uh, placing traps on the ground is also another way of hunting in uh, Primal. Because we just killed a yak now, the carcass might attract the predators in the area. So I think there's a doll that's coming, exactly. So we're just gonna set the trap on the ground and wait for the doll to come. So this is a great opportunity uh, to uh, get resources. There's a lot of way of hunting different animals in the game. And once you manage to uh, get the harder resources, you can upgrade uh, a lot of the aspects of the game. There's uh, weapons, uh, bags, etc. So tons of unlocks for you. Here we can take a look at the world map of Oros. The world is really big uh, and it's unfogged uh, through a fog of war. So you have to travel the world in order to unfog it. Uh, there's no more radio towers because of a stone age. Uh, but what you see here is a bonfire. Yeah, bonfires are used to fast travel everywhere to the world of Oros, and it's also a place where you can access your village stash. So let's go there and uh, claim it for ourselves. Oh, the wolf is growling. So uh, all the animals have abilities, and uh, the wolf uh, will uh, growl in order to alert you of uh, nearby enemies. You can use one of the other tools of the Beastmaster in order to recon the environment around you. Takar can summon uh, the owl to be able to fly around, survey the area, get a good tactical view. So now we've marked three enemies. So there this one, the one with the uh, orange horn, is able to uh, summon reinforcements. So it's probably a good idea to go in uh, more stealth. And so we'll summon uh, another one of the animals, uh, which is the jaguar, which is uh, very good for stealth approach. Yeah, exactly. What's fun with uh, the jaguar is that if you crouch, it's also going to go low and it's going to be stealth, not make much noise, not attract uh, any enemies or, or predators. So let's take out this first guy, headshot. Nice
So here you see, uh, as long as we crouch and the, the Jaguar is crouching, it's completely undetectable, and so we can uh, approach very stealthily from the enemies. Oh, that was a good headshot. This is exactly what I love to do when I play the game. Send my beast on a first target and take out the second one right away, and then double take down. And so now uh, we can claim the bonfire with a fire roll. So this is really cool because it gives us a, a very important anchor point in the world where we can fast travel. It enables us to uh, conquer the world of Oros and have much more ease as we travel through it. But there's a lot of other ways we can have uh, we can travel through the world of Oros. As the Beastmaster, you can uh, summon an owl, you can give order to a beast, but you can also uh, ride a wide array of animals uh, like the young mammoth. But you also have other beasts that you can uh, ride and uh, it gives you uh, really uh, a lot of ease as you travel through the world uh, and you're able to move much faster but also use it as a weapon which is a good opportunity so you can see the green gas which is one of the weapon of the udam and the rhino just decided to run away so here we see uh, the glacier uh, of Oros in the back we'll just uh, skip ahead to the uh, outpost uh, where we'll uh, find a lot more resistance and we'll summon a saber tooth what a great feeling i love doing that so the saber tooth is uh, one of the deadliest predators in the in the game world and uh, once you have one at your side uh, it gives you a lot of power so we've arrived uh, to the outpost that we're uh, hoping to attack and uh, the best way, uh, the best course of action, as usual, is to uh, summon our trusty owl and recon the area. Yeah, exactly. And when flying with the owl, uh, the different icons tell us the types of enemies that we're going to be facing. There's a lot of things we can do uh, with the owl. It's not only a recon tool. We can still give orders to our beast, so we could command it from here. But we can also uh, drop uh, different types of bombs. Let's do that. Let's. Uh, set this outpost on fire with some fire bombs. Here we go, and we can also use it to attack enemies, uh, dive down and, uh, directly to enemies. So this, of course, uh, is alerting them a lot, so now uh, they'll be looking for us, uh, but it's time to assault. Go spear, spear to the head, send the saber to it. Oh, jump attack, I love that one. That's super cool. And a take down, and then throw a shot to kill another dude. About the double bow. There we go. Ah. Reinforcements. That's not good. So now it's going to be much more uh, assault. So let's summon one of the uh, biggest tanks in the game, the Cave Bear, which is uh, very resilient, which can take uh, a lot of punishment and give you the opportunity to uh, go around the enemies. Summon some bees. That's annoying. Which is another one of the cool toys of the Beastmaster. You can dispatch enemies with the bees. Oh, is there an enemy? Yeah, perfect. That from above. The bear's happy. There you go. <laughs> yeah, that was just a small taste of the amazing Stone Age open world full of surprises and danger that we've got waiting for you. Thank you very much, GC. Thank you, Max. See you soon.